This call is being recorded. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Ah, uh, the auto DJ is tough, but oh, this is about how Tim. I'm back on the line. So now, anybody that want to call in, feel free to call. I'm about to send out the text messages to let folks know that they could join the conversation. Okay, Jonathan, hit me up at six one four. I am impressed that people were like, you know, where you at, man? Where you at? I just told y'all it was Blue Moon, so I took my kids out. Um, let's see who else. Uh, um, let's see where is she at? All right. So now, but like I was, I was talking before. I was kind of, I, I wasn't even disturbed. I'm, I'm just like, I'm at peace with it because it's, it's kind of tight that people are trying to make sure. That I'm doing what I say I'm gonna do. Like I got people checking on me as far as the, the smoking. Uh, somebody just joined. Uh, what's up? Who is this? God, man, God, what's going on? Oh, this is Jonathan. What's up? This is society what's up, man? himself. He's joining yeah. us tonight. Uh, I'm trying to send out. I'm trying to put the smoke signal up so other people can join us as well. You know what I'm saying? So because I'm running a little bit late. Like I was telling um. Other people, I am. Um, I I had. Uh, um, uh, it's it's the blue moon, so they had some events going on. Um, they had a bonfire for well, a campfire for the kids. So um, I made sure that I was able to get there, and I took the kids there, and it lasted a little bit longer than I thought. But hey, it was a beautiful thing. My kids enjoyed themselves, and that's 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 what I live for. You know what I'm saying? So how you doing, Brother Jonathan? I'm doing all right, man. I did download the Uber conference. Uh, the Uber conference? My phone. Yeah, I downloaded that. I just got to figure out how to use it. I do know if I get the, if I go pro, well, don't nobody need no pen. I just got to figure out how to upload Uber to society. So that's the thing I need to figure out how to do. So... I'm just working on fixing my computer and getting another, working on getting another computer as well. Um, Society mm-hmm. Truth will be up and running. I, um, my cook, I do have my artist uh, worker. She will be uh, soon to be working on uh, the, the drawings uh, for my show. Uh, so I'll be able to put it on, on, on T-shirts and hoodies and stuff. And, you know, really promote my, promote Society Truth. Like, I really want to. And, you know, get out right. more and, you know, advertise the uh, society too, but just a little bit more, get people to hear it. it. So, yeah, hey. I'm really, I mean, that's what I'm really going. Yeah. Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm listening. Go, go ahead. ahead, nah, go ahead, go ahead, nah. You go ahead. No, what I'm saying is, you know, um, we got to learn like we're doing. We got to work together so that we can make things happen, man, because it's a world out here that's, that's, that's starving till we got to say it. Speaking of that, for those of you that may be listening, I am up and I am live on Uber Conference right now, as well as the Google Hangout. Feel free to join me. You can call in at 614-556-4535. You can join me and Brother Jonathan, also known as he's the um, he's the creator of the show called uh, Society's Truth. You can feel free to call in. We can have a discussion about whatever it is you want to discuss. 
I'm also going to send out some more text messages. So go ahead, Jonathan. Keep them busy for a second while I send out these text messages trying to round the people up and trying to get in touch with them. Oh man, I watched I watched Black Wall Street, and I have not finished it. I watched the Attack on Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was just I fell asleep on it. That's why I gotta really make sure I'm watching it during the day because doing I was also watching it during did the you, day. Um, but it, what it did you so think powerful. about the part that you that you did see? I saw where they you? talked about. I saw how they first started the, the Jim Crow laws. And I saw a couple of survivors, how they talked about how could they be so cruel, how could they be so mean. And they basically talked about growing up, starting because they really what happened was when Jim Crow law was passed, you know, they segregated the whites from the blacks. So they took their street or their side of the community and they called it Black Wall Street. That's how it all began. It wasn't mm-hmm. just Black Wall Street, like everybody was entrepreneurs. It was just that that's what they called their side of the community. That was just the name that they gave it. It was just started off as a name. Then it started off as a name, and that's when everybody began. To, and it was just talked about how close they were. And just the bombings of it, I feel like Black Wall Street was the first 9-11. Because, that, I mean, that was one of the things that they don't teach us. And in school, it's like it's so amazing how, you know what I'm saying, you can pass Jim Crow, Jim Crow law, and, 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 and you know segregate us. But how are you gonna get mad at us for you know, doing what we do? You segregate us, you know what I'm saying? You you did this, so you know. And it was just like, and it was just amazing because now we gotta rebuild it, but we can't make the same mistakes that we have in the past. We gotta get not only just share with our community, we gotta share with other communities too. So that's the, I think that's the only problem, the only issue that was uh, showing everybody else how to do the exact same thing within Black Wall Street, but also reaching out to other cultures and other ethnicities. I think that's a better way to handle, uh, you know, as we rebuild. Um, and it was just so powerful to me because it was so powerful to me because I got to thinking about Dylan Roof and what he was saying, and it was just like he has no clue. You know, whoever his parents was, I feel, I feel bad. I, I feel sorry because he has no understanding, and he's been brainwashed to 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 the point where, you know, I don't even understand why white supremacists are hating on us. You know what I'm saying? You the ones that brought us over here. People felt <laughs> your people, your people of your own community, your own people from your own race felt that. What some of y'all were doing wasn't right. So y'all collided. And now that y'all collided, you know what I'm saying, from the beginning with, now that slavery is ended, now that segregation is over because your own race, you know what I'm saying, has felt that that wasn't right. So really, you shouldn't be hating on us. You should be hating your own right because everything that has been ended has ended based on white society. White society started slavery. Who took it upon themselves to want to end it? White society. It wasn't us. It was just the good white people. And those are the ones I really appreciate. All right, but now let me, you know let me ask you a question. You, you, don't think, you don't think we do a pretty good job of, of being open and, and, and welcoming to, to other peoples? No. Because we if we kill our own oh, race, man, come on, man. Uh, no, no, listen, 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 listen. I mean, listen, I, listen. Here's I, what I mean. We we open, we open. We, 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 we know we're about to argue. We're about to argue, but that's cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you, you. I'm not saying we're open. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying because I'm a, because we have been brainwashed by the American way. It's really that. We are open arms, but it's more towards we open arms a lot. We don't think as as well as we should do. And what, the way I want to explain it is, is what we talked about earlier, is we forgive too much. That's another way. I think that we get out of our feelings Jonathan, more. Jonathan, Jonathan, if we forgive too much, that means that we got to open ourselves up so that something can happen. That means we're reaching out to others. I feel like we need the I feel like that we're more we're more acceptance of other people than ourselves. That's the big issue. 
Not that we're not open to other people. We're not open to our own community. You know, that's that's the big issue. That's not even the issue. You know, being open to anybody else, but what about our own community? You know what I'm saying? And, like, I was talking about... That's that's where I will agree with you on. Hold on, I'm about to turn this off. So those of you that's listening to me on Spreaker, um, you can hit us up at 614... 556-4535. Once again, this is Yami Journey. I'd like to thank those for listening. This was the promo, and this is the end of the promo. You can catch the live, the rest of the live show over at our over conference, 614-556-4535. Or if you are on the Internet and you sit at your computer or your laptop, you can type in uberconference.com forward slash Hakim Giamme. That's forward slash H. A number two T I M G Y E N Y A M E and join the conversation. I'm being joined right now by Society's Truth's own Jonathan, Brother Jonathan. Um uh, and it sounds like Jonathan is trying to argue with Brother Hatim, so it's about to go down. All right, so you need to join us. Come on. Peace. Go ahead, bro. I'm listening. Well but but I feel like it's not that the I think here's the main issue. The main issue is that the white feel like the white hates on us because we are more successful now that they don't have as much control over us. And really, the argument I, between I, the I, argument I, between I, us. I, I, the, the hold on, I will, I, will, I will argue that they have more control over us and our community now than they have ever had before. Exactly. But so, they don't have, they don't have, they feel like they don't have the control that they should have. You know what I'm saying? So, and what I mean control, by that is. What's the control, what's, what's, what's the control you think they think they should have, Brother Jonathan? I'm, I'm saying the, the, the control that they think that they should have is the fact that they should have full, complete ownership of us. That's the control. They don't have, they may have control over us mentally but they don't have full ownership of us. And that's the big issue, and that's why Dylan Roof wanted to start a racial war, because he felt that we were taking over because, you know, they're killing, our, killing his women. But in reality, it's the big, the big, I think the big issue between racism, between, uh, you know, Caucasian and African-American people is that the fact that they don't have complete ownership anymore and not realizing the reason why they don't have complete ownership is because of the because of the people in their own organization, you know what I'm saying? The people in their own race, ethnicity. Because I think I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't despise, you know, or dislike white people. I think I'm, I'm glad that I'm, you know, be able to do what I am because of most of them. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fifty percent, fifty percent of uh, there are fifty percent good white people out there. Don't get me wrong, because you got to think about it. Obama is in the White House. You got to, you know, everything that's happened, but. I think the main issue of which, and, and the KKK don't stand behind white anymore. They stand behind badges and stars and the fact that we feel like, well, if we don't do, we feel like everybody deserves justice. We want answers. But we don't, I mean, I think that the biggest issue is not only between the white realizing what the control and why they don't have the control that they should have, and the big issue for us not receiving what we want and want accomplish what we want, like Malcolm X or Martin Luther King, is because social media is becoming this big trend. And I talked about trend uh, on my show the other day, and I talked about starting your own trend within your life and don't let the, don't let social the social media or society uh, put the trend in you. You gotta start the trend. You gotta. You gotta, you don't follow the trend, but you gotta, you gotta decide what trend that you want in your life to start. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to let anything else be a trend because I feel like the biggest issue is is that we don't like to, to, to we like everything to come to us fast. You know, especially within our community, we like that's why we work because we want to make money fast. And like I was saying, right, like earlier, not, not, hold on for one second, my friend. Um, somebody just joined us on the line. Uh, okay. who, 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 who this on the line? Ms. Dark So Lovely. Oh, what's up, Ms. Dark? Ms. Dark So Lovely. What's going on? 
I'm sitting, we joined by Jonathan, and uh, the one thing that all three of us have in common is Simpson and Simpson Simba Nation. You know what I'm saying? So Jonathan was raised up in it. So right now, me and Jonathan is discussing. Uh, well, actually, it's Freestyle Friday, so there's no no defined discussion. We just enjoying ourselves, having a good conversation, and and we're glad that you can join us. So. Um, the best thing for you to do is to sit back for for a second and and get the feel, get the lay of the land. Get, hello, you still there? Y'all still yeah, there? I'm here. I'm here. All right, get the get the lay of the land and then jump in the conversation as fast and as hard as you can because Jonathan don't stop, bro. I'm just letting okay, you know. No, I, did, I did hear part of it. Um, and one thing I want to say is, um, I'm 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 not sure it was your um. What you all, what the topic was at Simba this year, but at Simsa, we we too talked about um, that's something we discussed with the girls was starting our own trend, um, and under uh, and understanding what a trend is or um, basic yes basically starting our own trends understanding that we have that power. Um, another thing that I picked up on what what he said was about um, what I gathered was about this ideology of manifest destiny held by Europeans, held by whites. Um, and he said something about them hiding behind their badge of honor and those people who continue to perpetuate racism. And I feel like a big part of that is this ideology that has been ingrained in European Americans and in Europeans, period, white people about this manifest destiny as if it's their job to conquer and civilize the world as if they're the only civilized well, I mean, group. I mean, we, I mean, we, we, we already know, we know they, we know for a fact they believe that. We know for yeah, a fact, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it, what we, we know for a fact that they believe that. Yeah, you know it's been saying? ingrained so, the, it, it, that, that's part of the education. I mean, it, 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 it's flashed in our face in school every day. We can see that. Those that work in education, those that are in, in the education process, they automatically feel that that is what they are supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So um, um, I, what I want to do is take it back to Jonathan, because, Jonathan, you heard what she said, right, as far uh-huh. as the manifest destiny. Um, uh-huh. and, um, but hold on. Let's do this. Go and finish your point, Ms. Dark, Ms. Dark so lovely, and then we're going to let Jonathan go on and finish what he was trying to say. Um, okay, so I, I am going to say I don't, I never applied that to teachers. The reason why so many whites go into the teaching per, per, profession, um, that that is something that uh, what you just said, that was like a aha moment to me because I usually apply it to military, police, politics, things of that sort. Um, I've always typically believed that white people go into teaching because their aunts taught, their grandmothers taught, their mothers taught. They get summers off. Uh, and I'm not going to say there's not some of them like myself who 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 may feel that that, that is what that they, they were born to do. That is their gift. I believe there's some of them like that, but I believe the most oh, no, majority. No, no. Hold on. Now, I hope you ain't think that's what I meant. No, 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 no. I didn't think that. I didn't think that what you meant. I'm just saying there are some that go into um, teaching, you know, because they feel like that is their gift, you know, but I do right. feel like they, a lot of the people feel, that I've They feel that they Hello? saved the world. And in yeah. saving the world, there's a certain responsibility with that, and there's a certain uh, honor that goes with that. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden now, as Jonathan was saying, that's being taken away from them. Or they, at least they feel that that illusion is being stripped from them. And in that, you're going to have a, a natural, violent reaction. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you when you strip somebody of their illusion, you know what I'm saying? It's sort of like trying to take some crack out of a crack fiend's hand. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's going to get violent. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 and, 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 and the main thing is, is that if we are so much of a threat, this is, this is the only thing I don't understand. If we are so much of a threat, knowing that at, at some point in time, I mean, the founder and what and what they don't, and see, they teach us about the founding fathers and how this manifest destiny started. 
But what they really don't say is that when when it first started off with us being slaves, see, the founding fathers, when they first discovered the United States, they typically wanted to end slavery, but they just didn't want it because they didn't want the South trading with, at, with England at the, at the point of time. They actually didn't want slavery to exist. But they don't talk about that. They don't say that they, it was a touchy subject for years. And, and, and if I said we're so much of a threat nowadays, why the heck did you bring us over? So we are well, we so see, much a conflict you, you said, of your wait, manifest wait, stop, destiny. Stop, 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 why did you bring us over? Wait, 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 Jonathan, Jonathan, stop. You said who didn't want slavery? I said it, it was a touchy subject when the when the founding fathers had first discovered the United States, and they didn't want the South. The South. They didn't want the South of, of, of the, uh, the colonies. They didn't want anybody trading with England at a, for a time being. They didn't want that. So that's why they had what well, they had cotton and stuff. They had a pick and that. But it was a touchy subject that they didn't know how well or how slavery was going to go, so they never talked about it. But really, they, that was the first thing in discussion. But they don't say that. They don't say that slavery was the first thing brought up when 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 we had found it, uh, when we got our freedom from England, they don't talk about that. But I had to take it upon myself to really, you know, study it from historians and study it from other people that that was actually a talk. That was one of the first talks. But they didn't, they passed it by because they didn't want nobody trading with England at first. So England was just a, uh, was a big enemy for a time being. What they did was, and this is what I tell people, and people, a lot of my people get upset with me, but the the truth of the matter is just what you said. That was the discussion. And if you if you look at the, the congressional uh, continental meetings, the notes from the continental meetings, some of those diaries of the founding fathers, you will find that they were very afflicted, but it only makes sense that they were afflicted because if you think about the difference between pilgrims and um not uh this you you got and Puritans, you know that there were a group of people that the moment that they landed here and they began bringing slaves here, they were against it because they were ex- they were escaping that, so they felt like it contradicted the same the very thing that they were um that they were fighting against, but then you gotta remember this this land was colonized, so you had many different people here who were setting up shop, and some of those people had different beliefs. You know, so exactly. but when when it came to declaring independence, definitely it was at the top of the list, and that's why they knew when slavery was going to stop because they told them in that meeting they didn't put it in the in in, in the paperwork because they knew that those southern states would not sign and go to war if they did. So they took it out, but in the original Declaration of Independence, it clearly states that the slaves would be free. It clearly exactly. includes slaves. Stop! 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 Time. The the first Declaration of Independence. You, you said what? Yeah, she's telling the truth. It, she's telling wait, the truth. Wait, wait, she's no, wait, wait stop. stop, 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 stop. You said the first Declaration of Independence. The so first draft. Is this, is this, first draft. Oh, the first. Oh, okay, cool. Say that. First draft. See, because you said the first. Okay, first cool. draft. That's like so. That's that was, that wasn't that wasn't. Wait, hold on. That wasn't the one that was graded in the history, right? Do you know, because no, you, I want people to understand that, because I hear what you're saying. I hear what yes. you're saying, but I want to make sure that everybody understands what you're saying, because what you're saying is that the Declaration of Independence didn't have that, the first draft. That's like, you know what I'm saying, because we got to be clear on that, because for those out there that don't understand, you know, because you might not have to turn in the paper. When you do papers, you do papers in drafts. You put one draft out, you see how that how that works, how it sounds to you, and if you got somebody proofreading it, they'll read it. They give you their opinion, and then you go on and change it. So the yeah. whole slavery piece, the whole slavery piece, when the final draft came out, was it in there? So let's be clear. When the it, final draft it, came out, was it? It was not in there. And see, what happened was, again, we have what? to study. We have to study those events that led up to the Declaration of Independence and to 
uh, um, the Revolutionary War. If you study the events that led up to it, you know that these people were meeting on a regular, ready to go to war with Britain, but they couldn't get all the signatures. So they could, they were drafting this um, Declaration of Independence, and it was included in there that slavery was wrong. And they said they they made many statements against against those who chose to enslave. And what happened was, in order to declare war. And, and it not be a civil war. They had to get. The, they had to do something to pacify those right. uh, slaveholders. And what did they do? And what did out. they do? They took it they out. But, but but. No. Well, I mean, they, no. Well, I mean, what, what they did was they sacrificed you, me, and Jonathan. And listen, no, 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 no. They didn't because listen again. What they did okay. was they took it out, but they also, they, if you know about, um, immediately they stopped the slave trade. So you could continue to hold slaves, but they put it into effect, the slave, the, um, the slave trade would end. That is why when people... Wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 time out. In a continental co- congress, you're saying they did this. Are you sure? Yeah, she's telling, she's telling, uh, uh, wait, she's, she's, out, she's, telling she's out, talking all out. of that. Hold on, time out, time out, because the Continental Congress and the Declaration of Independence and all that took place before 1776, right? Correct. Because officially, see, hold on, officially 1776 was when the United States declared their independence. The slave trade ended. We're about to find out right now because I want because I, I want us to be clear on this. The slave trade in America ended. Uh, slave trade ended because it ended in the, um, the 1800s, not in 1776. Well, I'm, slave trade okay, in America so, ended. So look, okay, so I'm sorry oh, yeah. because I, I want to be very thorough with what I'm saying or very explicit. I should say that there, um, there were some amendments to this slave trade. There were some provisions that were put in place regarding was, slave trade. And then was, they also on. spoke... They they told was, them. Was, hold on, it they, was abolished. It was abolished in March the second in eighteen oh seven, and actually uh, England England stopped it before we did. But go ahead, I just because because what I'm hearing is all oh, this happened in seventeen seventy six with the with the Independence War and blah blah blah. No, 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 no,
Let me say this. Let him say this. Let him say it. And then I want to help her out of what she's saying, I can't, because I want to okay. I wanna be, let, I want to help her let out. Let me say this. This is the point. I'm I'm, this, is the only point this is the only point that I'm trying to make, and this is what I heard uh, King saying here, uh, uh, the brother saying here on the line, okay, is that from throughout the time when there was slavery and racial injustice, there was a minority, a group of whites. There's always been a group that came here that was against it from day one. They were against it from day one. When they arrived, they, they, they were advocates. So what, what I hear him saying and what I, too, feel is that there are white people not that they don't see race, but that they are righteous people, and they know that this shit is wrong. So they can see those people talk that speak out, those white people advocate. And no, it's not the majority that are advocates, and they can call themselves activists who will act on the part of race, uh, people of different races that they will never encounter the thing. They know they have white privilege. There are white people who realize they have white pr- privilege and acknowledge it. And that they... And, 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 and they it's called. This lady wrote this essay, unpacking, uh, uh, unpacking the invisible knapsack, uh, uh, and, and it enlightened me to some things about some. And I'm not saying all white people. This is my problem. My problem is not with the racist white people. My uh, uh, and these white people who are advocating and who, who uh, for righteousness, for equal treatment, they know what it really means to be an American under that Constitution. Talking about because it doesn't say anything about only white men in that in that Declaration of Independence. It doesn't say white men. It says men here on, in America. I, too, am an American, so I have those rights. There are white people who are true Americans who will advocate and who will speak out on parts of, like I said, people of other races just because they feel like, shoot, you're an American, too. As American, we have certain rights. It says it right there. You see what I'm saying now? I'm saying, but my problem, last thing, last thing, my problem, last thing. My problem are the you said that two minutes ago. Meaning, Hurry up. My problem, my problem are the well-meaning white people, the well-meaning white people who sit around and act like they don't see this shit that's going on. That's who my problem is. That's who my problem is. Because in my book, either you are part, either you are the, a part of the solution, or you are the problem. When you don't speak out, when you don't speak out, when you don't speak out, the problem. So, yeah, I wanna, so you I want to help out. I want to help out. I'm it. We're gonna help her out because I'm about to. I'm about to. I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I, y'all better get it together because I'm about to come through like I'm driving a truck. So come on, I'm listening. Go ahead. All right. so, so what she's saying, what she's basically saying is, is basically what I was trying to say from the jump. It was we. Were, it was basically a discussion, and by that being said, they felt that it wasn't right. And but the reason why slavery had existed is because of England. We didn't know we we and, and this is why we had no double jeopardy call. Wait, it's because they didn't want to. They didn't. Oh, let me talk about it. Let me let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get that. Let me get that off. Let me let me talk about it. I'm listening, bro. Go ahead. What I'm what I'm saying is is that because we were enemies with England, we didn't want to have that that the this was after. This is the fact that when they didn't, we didn't want them traded to begin with. But it's been a touchy subject, and what she's saying is, as an American, we are African. We may be African, but we have white in us because of slavery. They were sleeping with our women. So, so basically, what she's saying, basically, is what she's saying as an American, and because of the Declaration of Independence, it, it talks about our rights as an American. And we don't get those rights as an American. Americans don't have anything to do with being white, though. That's what um, white people think. That's the problem. <laughs> Americans have nothing to do with white people. Americans, this, this thing right here was originally the Native Americans. So they're the true Americans. But guess what? Then when they were, I was already here. I was already here. But it's about this land. They call the land America. This is my land, my people's ingenuity. They built this country. Who called it America? Who called it America? Americanist. They name. They is his name. Uh, what's his name? So I don't know. I know it's uh, Africanist, but whoever names are arbitrary. So somebody no, no, named no, no, it. No, no, no. no. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Yeah. 
because I, hey, I, I, I'm being patient, right? Now names are arbitrary. Now, words arbitrary. It, okay, cool. Then, all right, Linda. Um, Linda, you there? Linda. Wait, hold on. I thought you said name was arbitrary, so you don't. You shouldn't mind me calling you Linda. Names I identify understand. something. Names have a purpose. The the name America did not come from the Native Americans. Native Americans never called this land America. No, that is the name that was wait. Time out. Time out. You had your time. America was the name that. that was placed. I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. Did, did that's not what not, I said. You're not about to you do that. that way. You took it that way. That's not what she said, though. I'm, gonna listen I'm, to working my, I'm working my way back. I'm working my way back. Because listen, listen, because I don't know. I'm glad we're having a conversation, but I don't know how we got to where we got to where we all got white in us and blah, blah, blah. Because no, no, dude, no, 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 Right. Okay. And, uh-huh. and 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 I hear you about those that are against what's going on, that's sitting in silence, that's allowing it to go on. I'm, I'm, no, I, I, I got I got something for that too. You know what I'm saying? I got something for when Jonathan said we only had slavery over here because of England. Mm, no, I we, don't know. Cause I agree like that, I, but no, I will tell you, you took it the wrong way. I said I said slavery was never talked about. Or it never it was a touchy subject is and and the reason why because people got this thing about see this is why I don't like Abraham Wait. credit and a lot of things let me finish I, 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 let me let me finish what I got to say this is why I don't like uh, when Abraham let me credit a lot of stuff the North and the South right the North and the South needed each other right and they knew that and so because the North had was industry based and was and what they call like the industry, you know, stuff like Illinois with the mach- uh, machinery and stuff like that. We needed the South to ship stuff with ship ship stuff to us, we were gonna ship it back to the South, right? Slavery was never talked about because if the North and the South had got into it, who do you think they would go to? They would go to England. They didn't want that. They wanted the money to stay coming in. So that's wait, why slavery about, was never about, talked about in the beginning. About, about. But what, then, wait, hold on. What, wait, wait, wait. What would go to England? The, everything, that they, everything that the South needed the North to do, the South would sh- go back and forth we'll with ship England. it off to England. Right, okay, exactly. I dig that. I dig that. I agree. I agree. No, okay. And the North didn't want that to happen, so slavery okay. was never talked about. That's what right. I'm saying about England. That's what they didn't even want that. So it stayed here. I got a problem. I got a problem kind of with what you're saying. Let me let me let me let me paraphrase or at least let you know what what I'm hearing. You saying slavery wasn't talked about because it was an inconvenient truth. And because it was inconvenient because it affected people's pockets, they didn't talk about it. Right? So exactly. that for me, all right, so now that does not make it okay. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you said it makes it okay, but the, what what it's talking about is I, I don't know where we get to because it, it's kind of sounding like you are leaning towards um well, because some people here didn't think it was right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, can maybe I, we should be a little bit more forgiving I, or something. I, what's going on? Where, where are we going with this? Go ahead, because I, I, y'all I, got y'all about I, to get some ass. Come on. I love y'all. I want to. I want to add to what I'm talking. I'm gonna add on to her because I think she know. Uh, I think she know where I'm headed with it. Yeah, I, I don't know where you're headed. I want to know. I want you to get to where we're going. Let's go. Give me this because y- y'all got me I'm, lost. We we on the Y'all got me say, lost. Let's go. I want to say that I want to say that slavery or cheap labor or some type of um um you know slavery has been around since the beginning of a. Of time, it, it, it wasn't the it oh wasn't the slavery, it wasn't the slavery that existed in the United States. But when you, it when you're, 
Don't mention yeah, the no, argument then. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. And that's what, that is what's <laughs> unique about this. That is what's unique about what happened in the United States. When you make someone, when it's not, when it's not a certain number of years, and you make it for the rest of their lives. But let me tell you something. One thing that he said, that he kind of getting there, is that when you think about Europe and the things that they have done to each other, Europe, all of Europe, as far as white folks, enslaving folks, cheap labor, internment camps, all kinds of shit, they do that. And what they did was they did it here in the United States with the black people. It is a, it's a, it's a psychology. It's, it's the way that they are, it's the way that, uh, 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 that they are socialized, right? It's their ideologies. These are the ideologies of these people in this area. You watch what they do to each other. You think that they won't do us like that? All those people over there, they did it to the Chinese. They did it to the Chinese. They did it to the Chinese. They are deviant. They are, they are. It was was the Japanese. It was the Japanese. This is another thing he said. This is, this is, I just got to say this. I can't, what, one thing he was kind of getting to, but it has nothing to do with being Amer- uh, being American. Because being American has nothing to do with race. That's what we learn about coming to America. That's the unique thing about America. It has nothing to do, China got something to do with Chinese. You see what I'm saying? Africa, those are blacks. You kind of figure that. You know what I'm saying? America, you don't get no color when you think of America because it's a country oh, all in its own. <sighs> All in its own. It's a country all in its own. This is, like I said, this is my land. When you really get down uh, to it and look at it, this is my people's land. I have two uh, lands. I have African, I have America. Everything here uh, in the new it, we invented. Go some days without blacks inventions and see how far you make it. But at the end of the day, uh, we do got uh, one uh, in this. We do got one. I want to add. I want to add some. I want to add some of what she was saying. Wait, hold on, Jonathan. Jonathan, Paul, please. Now, I don't, I, I don't let y'all. Yeah, 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 I mean, I, I'm trying to get Give me to where y'all are going because I, I am, I, I'm kind of, I'm glad, I'm glad that y'all, I'm glad that we having this conversation, but I am getting frustrated because y'all talking and talking and let them get me to where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, one is one minute, America ain't got nothing to do with it. How can you say America has nothing to do with race? How? No, when I'm saying... Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me close it here. I want to close it because I want to get a, I want to get our chance to where we need to be, okay? What she's saying is America has nothing to do with race. <laughs> Look at how many people come to our land. No, people. I want to take hot Tim to home base. I want to do this. I want to do this. So when she talks about slavery, slavery, what they don't know was a hidden manual. And she's right. It's an ideology that was created into a manual that they enslave our people, right? And what she's saying is, is that this manifest destiny is all the ideology that they put into a manual, which is called label as slavery. So if you look at European, which was started over there, then if you look at Hitler, how he started about the concentration camp, that's what she's talking about where slavery and they get into the Japanese and they get into America. What she's saying is, is that being an American, when you have that label, it's, it's her land. She feels that because she's here, she deserves it. Why do you think a lot of people come over here? Because they deserve a better life. When you when you think about America, you don't think about race. But when you go to England, it's a different story. When you go to Africa, it's a different story. European. You are from Europe. If you say European, you're from Europe. Because you're a natural born American. And you're a natural born American. You are, you are a natural born American, so therefore she feels like she's entitled to Africa and America. Listen. Brown, I want you to go back on this tape because I just dropped a jewel, and my kids is loving it. They over here loving it. I, I mean, I, it makes perfect sense. I don't see why you're not agreeing because every every you because look at these. It, it, it's madness. It, 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 it's I, madness. You you see me in the belly I, of the talking about that it don't matter that that America is. I mean, and, you, and America America don't have nothing to do with race. 
You you okay. thinking about you thinking about you thinking about hot chill, hot chill. I want you to go blank for a second with me, for okay? Just go blank and just listen to me. I want you to go blank. I want you to take out the men. I want you to take out slavery, okay? I want you to take it out. I want you to take Wait, out. Jonathan, I want you Jonathan, to take Jonathan, out. No, listen, 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 listen. Jonathan, I, I, wanna, I want you to understand Jonathan, it. I want you to understand Jonathan, it. I want you to understand it. No, Jonathan, Jonathan, what you're asking me to do is, is taking, taking history and dissecting it so that I could prove your point. That don't make no sense, man. Why would no, I do no, that? No, listen, 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 listen. You got to take out. I'm not telling you to take out history. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I'm trying to get you to see is the development process. And that's why that's a, it's a, the development process that, that, that the United States was created in. You see what I'm saying? It never had anything to do with race. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 but now, 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 it, uh, see, look, see, look, hey, you got to you gotta hey. follow, follow me, follow me, follow me, just follow me. Follow hey, me for wait, a second. All right, look, follow hey, me. Wait, check, 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 follow me. Check, 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 follow me. Wait, hey, hey. wait, hold on. Cool, I'm going to take, I'm going to take slavery out. Let's, let's take slavery out. It had nothing to do with race. Explain. Yeah, I'm not going to take that out. Wait, time out, time out. Explain. He grow no, he grow no Explain. rivers. Let me rivers. Let me finish. Now, I want you to. I want, I want to show you. I want you to do it. Explain California, New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas to me. It, 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 explain because it, it, it's not about race. Explain that to me, please. Okay, so let me right, say this. Right. Let, okay, let me ahead. say this. What's going on? And name those places again. I said, Cali- uh, California, New okay. Mexico, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Um, in Texas. He's in New Mexico, right? Right. Yeah, let me say this. Let me say this. In, at the end of the day, with mm-hmm. with people, and you you may not agree with this. I'm surprised you didn't agree with my other analogy. But at I the end of the day, I don't understand the analogy you had. People, you talking about you dropped the jewel. I'm, I missed it. So you got to break it down people, for me. Those people who are overpopulate in those cities, those people that are overpopulate in those states that you um that you mentioned, those people were there from the very beginning. When you know they how they marched people out of this country and they sent them to Mexico, they sent them south of the border, they fight in the wars. Them white folks did tons of things to get these uh uh, uh seeds from shining seeds. They did a lot of things. They marched them out of here. Right. They people. So so now, let me stop you. Let me stop you. So you agree with me? So it does have something to do with race. But, but this is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. When you think Chinese people live in China, we know what they look like. Japanese people live in Japan. Africans live in Africa. There's images that come to our mind when we say these Europeans live in Europe. And though there are black Europeans, uh, uh, modern black people live in all corners of the world, we know what, what we picture when we say European. And what I'm telling you is that when you say America, there's no way that you can come up with one race or one look of a person because there's no such thing as that. There's no such you thing know, as that. You know you know what you know what you got? You yeah. have a deny you have a complex that causes you to deny reality. I, I mean, that, you, you are literally I denying reality. It provides me to construct some realism. That's what my 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 anxiety or my I issue. Is. I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna say something. You are little too. I, I, I wanna. I tell, it's, it's, not, to me, it's not healthy. To I'm me, gonna let you know it's, it's not to, healthy. To me, to, 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 to me, I wanna tell you. I wanna tell you. I wanna say something. To you to read to weave a reality and in a sense. Don't have any proof to support the reality that you read. I'm going to tell you what my support is. Let me tell you what my support is. The, the, the change of our community uh, 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 with what we're doing, what we have to do, uh, is, is it comes from empowering. And there's a reason why we must empower. And one thing that's going to empower my people is to know the real, real, real life truth. My young black people, they have to understand these things. We, they, we have to instill a sense of pride in them. We have to feel a sense of pride in them. So I really need to tell them the real reason uh, 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 about our history, be- or, or our history before slavery. I have to tell them what hey, happened. That's why, after- that's why when we, that's why when we talk and I constantly ask how you, we, how long have you been involved with it? The people are, immediately after slavery, 
Immediately ending slavery, they began to move and migrate all over the United States. They began to invent countless inventions after slavery. And immediately they, they took over literature. They took over, that's when they first, that's when they first took over culture. Come on now. We're talking about what happened afterwards, and we're talking about what happened before. And like I said, we've been enslaved many times. This isn't the first time we've been enslaved, and this is not the first time that we've had to bounce back, but it's about time we start bouncing back. And one way is to let the, the people know, let our young people know that this is not the first time, and we can rebound, and look what we did, have a sense of pride, and know our history. But the truth is, we are America. Black people but you can not, stand you're not you're not painting history right now you're painting a, a false image you're not dealing with the reality because you, you're talking about what you see now the goal is to get other people to see what you see if you know anything about energy, if you know anything about spirituality, you know that that's Wait, time what it's out, all time about. Time out, time out. Listen to me. That's why I keep on asking you how long you've been involved with this because you hit me with this with with, with this mumble jumbo. That's the, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, it, 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 you might as well say Africa Dapper. After you get some talking, you say Africa Dapper. You know what I'm saying? That's magic thing. We don't need magic thing. We need, we need I, yeah, but I, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. It works for me, and let me tell you something. I'm secretly convinced that I have the answer, and I believe that that is the answer. I believe that I have the answer. I don't. I hear what you're saying, but to me, I have convinced myself that it is that easy. It is that easy. We control things. Okay. If we know about Ooh. spiritual we control things with our thoughts, with our actions, with our words. We control. We control the reality. And listen, we got and we start to empower our people. Listen, if trying you to get, to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to paint this picture. Prove me wrong. That's just, that's all. That's 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 the challenge. Prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. I say this. I say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say this. Racism, 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 racism. It, 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 to me, is not the issue. Racism is the word that they use to distract us from the problem that they really have. You see? Let me let me explain. I'm gonna try to I'm I've been trying to watch. I've been listening. I've been trying to get what everybody's been trying to say. Here's what it means. I'm 19 years old. Racism is the word that they have distracted us from their real issue. The real issue was is that. Because we, like you said, we took over literature. If you look at Black Wall Street, the picture, the, the, the main thing that they have on their mind is manifest destiny. That's the main thing. And anyone that comes above them is a problem. So they create this, uh, this, 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 this word that is racism that is actually a distraction from the real matters that they have. The matter is that if you are successful and more successful than them and you can't tell them what you're doing, you are a problem. And they take you out. I'm just, that's just me, my thinking, and that's my thinking, and that's what it is. It's not about being an American. It's not about. It's not about. It's not about being an American. It's not about being white. It's not about being black. It's not about being Mexican. The problem is, it is that if you are up here and you cannot tell me how to get down, and you cannot tell me to get up there, and you want to keep it, and everybody is just like the Chinese. The Chinese are not. They're not crossing culture. They're keeping it with their, uh, with their, with, within their culture. Just like e Egyptians. When they make investment, they only make investments with Egypt. They send their money over to Egypt. They do not cross country because they believe in, they believe in sticking to their culture. They believe in not betraying their own group. And that is the problem we have as an American. We don't have the, we don't, as African Americans, we don't have yes. the, 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 the attitude to stick together and to, and to, and to, and to, and to take us together. Their, their problem with us is that we have the ability to overcome and we don't, and, and everybody don't share. 
everybody does not share. So because the Chinese are not sharing with the Americans, just like uh, Egyptians are not sharing with African Americans, why do you think Africans don't like African Americans? Why do you think Mexicans don't like? And it's not that race is because everybody is the same to us. It's, that, and it's like it's like that, and that's not the big, racism is just illusion. But the real the, the real problem is the real problem is is that everybody some type of culture is getting on top and they won't tell the next culture. And because everybody has different ideologies, everybody has different beliefs, and just like the 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 the, the, uh, the uh, African uh, the, uh, the Americans, which is the United States, and because we are what well, we we like to stay on top and be on top, anybody does not does not share and show us the way. We either gonna take you out or we will figure it out on our own. And that's the big issue, not racism. Yes. That is an illusion to me. Hey, something. Man, hold on. I want to say, I, oh, go ahead. Please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Want to say that he's on, he's on to he, he's on the right the right direction. Oh um, this. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Let me. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me. I'm gonna make go, this go short. And, I'm, I'm gonna make this short. Please. People. Please. These people are. Experts in things of, of the mind, like psych, sociology, psychology, psychology, and things of this sort, right? So they have flipped some things on us. An example is how they flipped us to think that Uncle Tom was someone bad when really it's someone good that we should aspire to be. They have flipped and told us that racism is bad when it's really something that we should do and we should practice. And this is why they we say it's so bad, but this is why that they are able to do the things that they did. Just I mean that they do and just like he said if we had some racism i can i mean we practice what they practice we might not be in the condition that we're in if we had a sense of pride once again and we thought that we were superior or we thought that we were better for real for real and carried ourselves and, and conducted ourselves in a manner of being, like i said going back to righteousness thinking that we were different, because look, the definition, racism, the belief that all members of each race possess characteristics or abilities specific to that race. That is true. That is true. And guess what? Our, we, we possess all abilities. We excel in all things. Now, the next thing is it says, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another uh, race or races. They have, treat, they have taught us that racism is something bad when really it's something good. And if my people really understood that we do possess something superior and that we should it's carry on ourselves, go on out. Now finish it. Finish the point. Because I want to bring it back. That, that I want to bring it point. back. See, you can, well, hold on. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. Back up. Now, I need both of y'all. I need both of y'all. Give uh -huh. me a second. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm here, right? So now y'all brought it all the way back. And finally, y'all are speaking something that is possibly, possibly, but let me let me tell you what's from the contradictions. Well, I ain't gonna say the contradictions. Some of the issues, like for example, you know, like we we all in America, so you know what I'm saying. I mean, that was one of that's one of the statements, right? But now you're saying that we should practice some racism, and it's it's actually natural for somebody that is actual is actually natural for an individual to kind of favor somebody that is close to him or that looks like him or that is in the same genotype as him, right? Or her. What is wrong about racism that people do is they practice discrimination. That is wrong. Oh. But me, me feeling, me feeling as though I mean, and I'm talking about those in in, in the whole world. It goes back to the world hegemony. Go back to the world hegemony. That is the, what's wrong about it. But the belief that to have a superior belief or the belief that you are better or believe that your race has special characteristics. That's not. It, it's real. If you look at, if you just look, you can see which race has special. Now, uh, now, uh, stuff. I, 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 I have. Hold on. I have this over back. Right. That's I mean, I, because I, I want, I want, but now I can't finish a point. Right. Now, I, you can, I, I want to just say this. Go, I want to just say no, this. No, 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 Jonathan. Uh, uh hush. Hey. Pause it for okay. a second. I'm okay. trying. To make a point, and I can't make a point because every time I make a point, you talk, and then when I say when I want to come in, when you talking, it's like no, 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 no. 
It can't. It can't. There you go. Go ahead. 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 What does it matter? See, because I'm like this. I honestly believe that if individuals actually looked at themselves in the way that you're saying, it wouldn't even matter what what history we told them. We have been deprogrammed to look out for ourselves. Like we was talking about before you got on the line, it's almost as if we are so open to everybody else that we don't surrender all possibilities. Before y'all even got on, I was talking about that. We have surrendered. Everything we don't gave up our community because we want we want to sit at the counter with with with, with white folks. We want to do nobody. Do you mean? Come on, I don't. Come on, at the counter. He said I want to hear. I want to hear his point. I want to hear his point. Go ahead and talk. I don't hear. Don't you hear? Don't you hear? That's what happened. We gave up our neighborhood. The places that let thrive. Talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Just let them talk. Wait, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're saying something that I'm not. We agree on the basis of things. The places in America that thrive where African Americans live are places that are segregated. I've researched it. So, yes, we should live amongst ourselves. We should educate our own children. We should have our own policemen and all those things. We should have those things in our community. Everybody else do. I mean, that's that's kind of the point. But see, but hold on, y'all. Y'all, wait, hold on, hold on. Because listen, because I need you to understand this. Y'all brought it all the way back from slavery, and there were some people in here that was against slavery, but slavery, this whole country, this whole country, the economic system, and everything that was structured and built was built on the back of slaves. Right now, then, then you say, well, you know, everybody wasn't with that, and we all Americans, and America has nothing to do with color. Then you bring it all the way back around to what you just now saying, which is very confusing. No, you it's say, not which confusing. Is very confusing. You know, much? Yes, it is. It's so it's wrong. Logical. It's you, logical. You, 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 it's logical yeah. about that. It only it's makes not. sense. Oh my gosh! It only makes sense what I'm saying. It only, it only makes, makes sense. sense. You just repeated it, and it sounds perfectly sane. It sounds perfectly, it, and that's why I said I don't, or I think what you're doing is, like, getting me to say it or you're repeating it, and you, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but I'm, I'm one of the least that you understand where I'm coming from and what I'm saying. In this land, right here. First off, are you, are you happy and satisfied with where you're coming from? <laughs> I am no, very, I am no, I am very, 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 I I don't have the solution. I'm not going to say I have the solution. I'm going to say I have the blueprint. I am my mind. I am my mind. I have thought this out. I have drawn, drawn you got pictures. The blueprint. You got the solution. I have drawn what, pictures. I mean, what are you saying? I have discussed it and, 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 and helped come up with this by talking with other people like yourself on my show. When I'm, when I'm doing my show, people call in. We dialogue just like pause. this. Wait, I wait, pause, this pause, pause, pause. Speaking of your show, let people know what your show, what the name of your show is and how they can get in contact with you. Okay, no, I, I, don't, I don't do it anymore, but I'm saying that this is oh where I can so I'm going to do it. I'm. This is not about my show. This is about your show on this this thing. But I am going. To, my show is going to be coming. I mean, I'm bringing it back. I don't. Yeah. You're, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to have your um your 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 folk tales for grown folks on there. I don't know if I have to switch the night from Sunday to Tuesday. I don't know how that's going to look. But um. Yeah, so all you got to do is download all you got to do is download it and put it up on your show. That's it. I I didn't I didn't um I didn't come up with this by myself. 
I constructed this knowledge. So I've taken bits and pieces, and I've read, and I've studied, and, I, and I've come up, and I construct new knowledge. I'm not married to any paradigm, but what I will tell you is that I do, I do know that this land here, like you said, there were slaves. After they were enslaved, they, they, they earned their freedom. Their ingenuity built this country. Uh, there were people who were already here when white folks arrived. So to think that white is America uh, is uh, how, how, how did they earn their freedom? Is America. So if you think of a race associated to this land, it is very unique like no other because there's no one race. There's no one race that you associate you with America. Are, you are... You are terribly wrong there. I'm just saying. You, I mean, I don't know what world you exist in. Can I hear? 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 Go ahead, Jonathan. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. She, she, she kind of has a point, and, and it's kind of, kind of, kind of like, and, 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 and it kind of got me going. This. But what I really want to say is this. I want to say is this. And like I said before, I believe that the term racism is just a distraction because no one, the knowledge that every culture has is not shared. And because one dominates the other, then that becomes a problem. It's, to me, it sounds more of jealousy because, 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 wait, 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 let me finish. Because it sounds to me, it's like everybody has this one thing. Now I've spoken with some Egyptians, but I know people that I know I know I know people that had like from other races that had different beliefs. But when you come down low and when you and when you say when you say I can do something for you, you can do something for me. That's how you switch over and get the knowledge from different people. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's how you transition the knowledge. But. But because because nowadays they're not doing that and we and there's no one saying, look, let me show you what I'm doing. Yeah, you, let me show what I'm doing. Jonathan, who's not doing that? As a culture, I mean, we're not showing what we can do for people, and they not, and we're and we're not allowing people to show them what they can do for us. And no, that's what no, my no, company. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that's what my company no, consists of. Just, hold right, on, let me let me, right, let me show right, you. Right, let right, me right. get to the point. Let me get to the point. Let me get to the point. Get to the point. Get to it. And what I'm saying, I'm saying, what I'm saying is my company, which is, I work for a financial company, and it's one of the best in the, across the North America. What it is is that what I have learned about different cultures is that they send their money back to their culture, back to their homeland, knowing that they're here. And what, they, what I'm trying to say is that we can show the benefits and the same turnaround from the same culture that's doing it over there, the same turnaround here, and, a, and, and the greater effect then that's when you have success. But because one dominant culture is like Black Wall Street, does Black Wall Street exist anymore? No, because guess what? Black Wall Street was going up, and Black Wall Street, what were they doing? They kept it in their community. There was no way. Because we were, one, too scared to go outside our community. And that is the big issue. When you get scared about your community, Jonathan, and, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Jonathan, hold on. No, I, 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 Jonathan, stop. Listen, man. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We are the only community that not only allow anybody to come in and set up a business, we the only community that don't go out and set up business in another community. What are you talking about? I mean, okay, come on, let me, man. Let me tell you something. There's a reason. There's a reason why we're the only community that does that. Um, the only way that we can control... There's a reason. There's a reason. We surrender... We surrendered our self determination. We surrendered the self determination. Only way we can control we that for us uh, uh, is the only way that we can control that is through group economics. Um, for us to buy up and own our own properties, then can't nobody come in there and do anything for us to go and purchase those things, for us to acquire those things in our community. That's why we need people to start thinking about the jobs that are needed in our community, grocery stores and things like that. Everybody breaking out, calling themselves well, entrepreneurs. Well, 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 even, before you get there, even, even before you get there, everybody you got to have same. a community. You have to set up a community. We have plenty of community. There is none. We don't have none. We are living have, in the rented projects. We, we are, are living in a loner home. That's what we're living in right now. 
If you're living in neighborhoods, you're living in neighborhoods no, right now. Broke down neighborhoods. Broke down neighborhoods. Broke down neighborhoods. My slogan is it's hey, time hey, to put hey. the that's why my slogan is, it's Most time to put the shoes on. Most of us don't even know our neighbors. How you going to close with the neighbors? Most of us don't even know our neighbors. Let me tell you my slogan. My slogan is, this is another one. You're going to like this, bro. It's time to put the unity back in the community. That's what, that, oh, oh, it's time to put the unity back in the community. It's time to put the unity back in the community. So unity, stop. we're living in the neighborhood. Stop. We're living in the neighborhood. Neighbor, neighbor, you're my Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen Uh-oh. to me. This is why I keep asking you, how long have you been involved in this? Because that's old. That's old. That's old. Yeah, that's kind of old. That's old. That's old. I was, I've been saying that for a while. That's that's something I, was, I, I, I coined that a long time ago. I'm just saying and bringing well, it back to. You didn't coin it. You didn't coin it. You didn't coin it. I, I, I never heard you that and came that. up with that. I came you up with that it. myself here somewhere no, in you. Listen to me. Listen to yeah, me. I'm not saying that's might why not I keep asking you. That, that's why I keep asking you, how long have you been involved with this so-called consciousness or enlightenment okay. movement so, or whatever? So let me say this. Let me say this. not new. Okay, so let me say this. Whenever, whenever I, um, when, whenever I said that, I had not, it was years ago, and I had not heard it. I'll say that much. Whenever I, whenever you know why, I. You know, why you, you, know, you know why you weren't able to hear it? Because you was thinking on your own. This type okay, of stuff is so going on for a long time. This is what you know, this is this is this is this is the solution that you I've been doing this because I'm thirty four years no, no, old. Wait. I'm thirty four I'm thirty four years old and I'm gonna tell you since I went to college, since I went and got my undergrad, I've been studying and I've been constructing my own knowledge. I've been constructing my own knowledge since that's, the first time the African the class. Problem. Hold on. That's the problem. You're trying to build a community. You're trying to build a community on your own. You're trying to do it on your own. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I just told you. I I have a network. I believe in a network. So I have a network that I deal with. I don't do this on my own. I have people that I network 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 with. Networking is not successful. Networking. Networking. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. I'm, this is why activism is not, no longer successful. Networking. You have to have some type of leadership. Where's the leadership? You know what I'm saying? You got the hierarchy base. You got. We got to start developing everything like a hierarchy. Networking. That's what social media is. Network. That's why nothing is successful. I mean, I'm just no, listening. I'm just saying, I'm just listening. You can't, you can't just network. No, you, you, uh, you can't, you can't not just network. You got to do something you. else. I didn't say just network. I didn't say just network, but when you get a group of people who are like-minded that come together, that's when you can make waves. So in order to come, in order to meet those people and start planning and discussing and doing things within your community, you come up with things to do that you think might help, and you go implement them in your community. But unless you're networking and getting that word out, you won't have people all across anywhere doing it. You have to have a network, right. but what they gave us they gave us Facebook and these things to track us. They gave us these phones with this stuff. And today I was having a conversation and when I went to my phone to press something, it it used words for my conversation. I wasn't on my phone. My phone was dead. They're tra- they they use that, but we're gonna use this social media. We're gonna use this if we if we wake up. We can use it to network and branch out with people all over the United States, all over Africa, all over Europe. And that's when you're going to start a wave. That's when you're going to start a wave. You have to network. There's no way that this is going to happen We've if you don't. We've been doing this for so long. We've been doing this for so long. It's old news. It's old news because we've been trying to network and nothing has come good out of it. It's one thing to network, but it's one, it's one thing to get the word out, but it's up to the next person. you gotta, you got to work to the point where if you network, it's, that's okay. I understand networking. But if they're not, just because you network with somebody, you let somebody know about what you're doing. I mean, you've know, already been told about society's truth, but I, ain't, I only got about three to four, five followers. 
it's not just about networking. And you have to promote. You can't just network. And you can't network. 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 Networking by yourself is not successful. That's what I'm saying. Networking about by yourself is, 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 is the reason why. It's the reason why Mike Brown is has died out. It's the reason why Freddie Gray has died out, and because of this networking thing. And that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. Networking existed. Networking existed before the social network. Before, before, before Facebook and Instagram. networking, we've you been that. Know, you want to know? You want to know why? You don't want to? You want to know why? You don't want to? You want to know why? Uh, I, I, I want to say this. I, I don't. I don't really think. I don't really think people understand why Martin Luther King and his whole group was successful. Not only because he was networking, he had the ability to make people believe. He had the okay. ability to make people feel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. on. You missing a crucial piece: the ability to get people to act. It's one That's thing to push a button. Is it's, it's another it's, thing to actually get up and act. But it, you know okay, what I'm so we're so, um, and, 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 But I do. You're right. I, You're right. I'm, I'm saying right. you do need you do need networking. But now we have descended into is either because because before social networks, what started happening is that people would break off into study groups and people would just study. There will be little action and people would come up with these theories, but nobody was doing the work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you know, I, mean, I, was, I know. I know some folks that well, doing work. I know some folks is doing work. I'm doing work. I know plenty of people doing work. I know plenty of people who 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 well, by whatever means this is what I say on on my Instagram. I encourage people to do if everybody did one thing to the betterment of their of their community every day, whether it was volunteer, whether it was um go get a job where you have some public service, whether it's go to the rec center volunteer time, whatever it is, if you did one thing Donate it to a cause. Share the conscious post. If everybody did one one thing, and, and it should be a lot more, every day, in the name of the movement, in the, in the name of getting something out or putting something in, right, we we would make a way. It, it don't take much. No. We, it's the thing yeah. that we can well, do. That's the thing actually, we can do. Actually, actually it, do take, it, it do take a little bit. Um, I believe it takes a little bit more than that. But, you know, like I said, you know, my years of experience. I believe that's true. Y'all been networking. Y'all got it all figured out. Y'all got the answer. So I'm going to just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I just want to get the answer. I feel safe. Now, I can go home and leave my children's future in the hands of young folks. Because, you know, you got to be confident. Do you remember? Do you remember W.E.B. Du Bois said, talented 10? Talented Tenth. He talks about the Talented Tenth. He wrote all these papers on the Talented Tenth, right? You're familiar with those, right? The same. Yeah. I know you are. So my thing is, I used to be when I first, like I said, I'm young. So when I first stumbled upon that, and I learned, and I and I was sort of, I was kind of offended. Like, is he saying only ten percent of our of our people are talented? Is that? But no, that's not what he was going to. What he was saying, he said that it might take ten percent to put into overdrive. But if the rest of those people just did a little bit, just did a little bit, you cause a wave. You got to have 10%, and this is what he said, like hierarchy, the people who are really going to put everything in order. You know what I'm saying? But we're kind of causing the wave. You do, you're going to have that, and I believe we are in the midst of it. That's what I want to say. He, he said it's not going to work, but I, I, I watch some things, I listen, and I kind of be, believe that we are waking up. I do believe that. And if, and if I'm young and this, has been, and this has been going on, then I'm young and I don't know much. But I'm tell, for me and, and the things that I get, on, yeah. I'm, um, I'm, it's been going on. It's been well, going on. Yeah, I've been, I've been you know what I'm told saying? that. And I'm like, I've been told that. 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 I've been told you know what I'm saying? We're coming back into it. It's something that regenerates like every nine, like every nine to twelve years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We could go back, and if we oh, take it back to, if we actually, we could take it back to the summer of '89 was the last time it ended. 
this whole consciousness piece because the, what, what you're talking about as far as consciousness, you know what I'm saying, it it was well, big from like 85 to 87. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have 85, to say, 85, 89, my fault. And then it died out. But then actually before that, you had, the, I mean, well, actually going into that, you had a bunch of stuff that was building up to where the youth took oh. and embraced it and took it to another level. Which was which was in a sense my goal, right? So now we're moving back through a cycle where now it's back, the consciousness is back, and this time what I'm trying to say is we need to get prepared so that we could take advantage of it. Unlike the last I'm, time, because we didn't take advantage of it, we let somebody take the energy and tra- and change it from conscious hip hop to keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what that that co-opted everything. That that was part of the co-option of everything that we were building, right? And I'm just I'm I'm trying to let you know that the history repeats itself. Sometimes we only have to go back a hundred years to see the cycle. You know, because consciousness. I mean, because what do you think was happening when Marcus Garvey was doing it, or or or, or when or when um the Black Panthers start catching on? I mean, there was consciousness. There was a there was a wave of consciousness that went out. And the world was going to change. But what happened? It got co-opted. Now, the, the, the thing that people need to get prepared for is the co-option. We, what are we doing to ingrain this in individuals so that when they try to co-opt this, it's like, no, you can't do that. You see what I'm saying? Because just, just holding a positive image in your mind is not going to stop that. The positive image thing, we done did this. This whole thing with the secret, we done did this. We, sh- we know we can manifest. We know we can manifest reality. But the issue is when you manifest reality, are you willing to defend it and, and to maintain it? Because hip-hop, hip-hop shows that we have the ability to create something out of absolutely nothing. But because we didn't control it, because we didn't hang on to it, because our elders weren't wise enough to see what it was, we let somebody else get hold of it, and now... It has become a weapon that works against us. Well, that's you know what I'm saying? that's why I agree. I got banned. I agree. I got banned from houses um, on Instagram. Nas blocked me because um, I had Nas, the rapper Nas, because I told him that we needed it. You know, for me, this is what I and I know you may believe different, but I feel like. Something has to happen to make it popular. You feel what I'm saying? Something has to happen to make it cool to to make to, what? to make what? Um, to to give you a sense of pride. Something has to happen, and we use music is so powerful for us. I believe you know, that music. You know why? Do you know why Nas blocked you? I'm sorry. Do you know why Nas probably blocked you? Why? Because it's like a new Jack telling somebody who was part of the conscious movement, hey, you did it wrong. This is what, this is what you got to do. When he probably been wrestling with this whole piece because part of his, part, uh, he was part of that whole, that whole conscious when it flips shit. Okay, so what? You so trying to tell him. I'm going to tell you what exactly what I put on his post. I put that we need you to remake the James Brown hit, I'm Black and I'm Proud. I said if we could all get our, our kids singing that and really believing that and feeling that in their soul, they wouldn't tear up the shit that they tear up. They wouldn't shoot each other. They wouldn't do any of that. When you when you a sense of pride, that's what I asked them to do. I I I I I reached out to a couple people, but I know it's you. And you said to Nas, "Hello." What did you say? You said if you you said you know not if you knew anything about Nas, you know he was a part of that conscious movement. He was a part of this. That's one reason why. And we talked about it again on my show, and Nas, we decided that. That's what we said. We need somebody that's already who we were trying to think, like, who can we get? We thought about even going to a lot of these studios and, 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 and like, um, like you know, how they, they would go down, to, um, 
Like, if you go protesting in Washington, I remember this when I was young, we would go to the certain businesses, uh, you know, that they owned and, like, give them our propaganda and stuff like that. They suggested that we do that, that we take turns going and just sitting, waiting and requesting to talk to people about, you know, what we, what we want them to do. Like, basically, if we supported you, now it's time that you give something back. Well, we were trying to think, we feel like it's so, time uh, that that song should be made. That's time that uh, song no, is with no, 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 no. I want right, to say this. I want to say this. Time has changed. So, therefore, to ask somebody that was already part of the move, the part of something that, that took transition that kind of got co-opted is disrespectful because he was already That's part of that. And, 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 for, and to tell him to remake something that was already as big, and if, and if, and if, like Jay Z, Jay Z was part of the movement. They, it was a lot of a lot of people that. No, but wait, 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 I'm saying. I'm saying. I don't even time to explain. So asking the whole leader to become a to become a leader again to kind of like. I don't Wait, understand. Nah, nah, nobody needs to fight this. Nas and Jay Z are, are, are part of the group that kind of is in this reality piece. Nas has a lot of consciousness, in, a lot of consciousness in his lyrics and his flow is truly dope, and he was doing what he loved. But they were part of the group that kind of opened it to be co op because at the same time they came out, you just look at their careers, look at the look at the other groups that was out when they were out. You know what I'm saying? And they helped with their voice, they helped to kind of silence that because they was it was still a balance in hip hop. But the, the the piece that I'm trying to get you to understand is 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 that or at least when you approach somebody and you say, Hey, you need to do this, you know what I'm saying? That's like somebody that's like that's like somebody um um uh, 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 viewing viewing your class from a distance and saying, "Hey, you need to teach this, and you need to teach no, like that." That's not what I, you that, I don't. Think, too. That, I left out a piece. He didn't block me because I did it one time. I, we we were you harassed. You were no, harassed. I did. I uh, yeah, we we planned it. That's what I said. We that discussed. But he seen it. Somebody, and I don't even think he probably doesn't even manage his Instagram. I don't know that he, he's the one, he's the executive of his Instagram. There's maybe someone else. Now I'm no longer blocked. Yeah, like, I, it is somebody I, else. Somebody, but you know that, so, but why would you why why would you I bombard did, anybody? Why not why do would, it yourself? Why would not? Why would not? I'm, I I went to his page. That's called being unlovable. That's like that's like talking. You over, know what I'm saying? Over and over again. Yeah, I did. So, and now I'm not you blocked. Stopped yeah, you did. But, but but oh it, yeah, I did. I did. All right, now that's that's not okay. Got the message. Somebody got the that's message. Not okay. Right. I don't see why that's not. not okay. I'm, so I'm not, going to do that. You don't do that I'm, at all. You not. You don't do that. I mean, I mean, I mean I'm acting I mean, something. I'm doing something. You told me I got to get the action. It's better than me just sitting talking about who, what, no, what, no, how. But when I say the action, baby, the action, the action is not for you to tell somebody else to do something. That's what we got a problem. The action is you doing something. No, I didn't say it like that. I told him. I felt like I admired him. You told, him, love, you told him in a way that I, got you blocked. I feel like he would be the perfect person to remake such a such a classic. Like I could hear Nas already singing, I'm black and I'm proud, and people singing along with it. I can see it in my eyes, man. And if it ever happened, oh, y'all would know. Time oh, out, time oh, out. Well, know okay, why didn't, why, why didn't y'all just something? promote his song, I Know I Can? That's just as good be what I want to be. I, I do use it. it. I use it all I the time. I want to be. Why not use this song? You're going to tell him that he needs to do something else. I'm ready for it. I'm black and I'm proud. I can hear him on the beat right now. I can hear him doing doing it. I can hear it. <laughs> just let's listen. Just let's listen and see how cool that would be if not as a I'm black and I'm proud. And it's not right. That's, that's not right. That's called stalking not right and it's almost kind of scary that you can hear his voice. Why not hear your voice? Why not why not why not develop a group? Why, is why not train the children? So they can do ready? Why, because why? he why why is that uh, what I'm doing I'm talking to he he is famous. 
If I do it, I'm not going to call. I need somebody. It, they ha- it has to be, it, 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 there has to be some type of, what is it called? It, like, it has to be trending. So I can, I can make I'm it trend in how? my community, how? like you said. To you, know all the trend. you know the problem with the trends? You know the problem with the trends, though? Like, like, wait, hold, on. Uh, hold on. Jonathan already told us about trends because, remember, um, the, the gray guy was a, a trend. Um uh, 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 Trayvon was a trend. Um, um, uh, um, the lady that just was murdered just a couple of days ago, it, or, or, or that, that hung herself in jail. Let me say this. Right? Sagging is a trend, and it's been around for a long time. If I can get, I'm black and I'm what proud is? to stick around like sagging. To stick around like sagging, I'll be in there. I'll take that any day over what I'm living through right now. If I can have my people to have a sense of pride for 30, 40, 50 years. At least my kids you know would get the. You, you know where you start? You start with the youth. 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 You don't start with the youth. You don't start with the youth. You don't start with the youth. You start with the youth. You don't 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 start with the if you want something to last like something like sagging, focus on the youth. Don't focus on Nas. Because that's the something that people are to get to. The whole generation is gone. You gotta focus. If you want something to last, you gotta love it. He's not gonna get to you. He's not gonna listen. I know the youth are highly impressionable, and I know that if they see it on TV and somebody tells them who is cool, that they are going to feel it and they are going to believe it and it will catch on. They are impressionable. They believe everything well, they gotta, see on TV. They they do do you gotta get, you gotta get. And songs and impressionable allow all of those things to control them because it's socialization. And if they were socialized to believe that they were kings and that they, and, and that they that they should be proud or that they were they they once ruled lands that they owned the lands that we don't own that's our problem here we don't own nothing that's why we can't control Wait, what comes to our neighborhood we can't control our mind. I hear you. That's why I say hold on, Jonathan. Hold on, hold on. That's why it starts. That's why it starts with you. Exactly. You know because, hold on, hold on. Not Nas doing the song. We have to start taking co- control of who we are. That's that what I do. What do you mean? Right, what that's you mean? what. I, okay. Uh, oh, no, all right. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Because I'm done. Because you know what? You know what? I get that from everybody, but I'm not seeing it. I get that from well, everybody. I'm not seeing it. I don't see I do. it either. No, I don't. No, no, no. Look, look, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say, and I just, I just want to say it without anybody just coming in on what I got to say, because I've been listening, in, and that's one of the things that I've been doing. And I really, want, I really want to say this. I really want to say this without any interruption. I've been giving everybody respect that they need. I just need to just say this. You, I, and I talk about trends so much on my radio show. I thought people need to hear society, too, because people are the truth. Listen to this. If you want to trend like sagging, the last, like, last, just something like that that you're trying to say that you want, like sagging, you got to get another you to show that that song is cool. Just like, just like I show, just like, just like I know a guy that, that taught a 15 year old, a 16 year old how to build a business. And they were 15, 16 years old, and now they're making over $50,000 a year. And guess what they're doing? Showing other young entrepreneurs how to do the exact same thing that they're doing. Offering jobs to older people that there are, but they're showing their younger generation. This is why I say an older generation should stop focusing on what happens. Not, stop seeing Nas singing that song again because that's going to die out like Sons of the Brand. That's going to die out like, like that's going to that's gonna die out like Mike Brown. That's going to die out like Freddie Gray because guess Hello? what? The you, the you, I, I know this because I'm, I'm young myself. I know this before. It's like my generation is so confused, and here's why I know this. My generation is so confused that females of my age just like porno. I know this. I know this for a fact. 
I know this for a fact that my generation is, and, and I see that, but it does it, it starts with you, like how Kim said. It starts with, with you getting out there. Somebody's it exactly. because the, you, you're like, you're not going to make something seem so cool. Everybody, everybody older, like me, have their mind made up. That's why how Kim's view has not changed. That's why my view has not changed. That's why if you focus mm-hmm. on somebody younger that's willing to listen, that's what I'm saying, willing to listen to your views. And that's when you, and then when they're going to say, you know what, they're going to point you out and say, you know what, she's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. And you know what, she's the reason why I'm educating the other you, somebody younger than me, to do the exact same doing, because she taught me when I was young. Not Nas, because Nas has been out of the game for so long. And so it's fact, that's why it, does, it, does, it, does, it does, it does start with you. And it does start with you. Listen, it does start with you. I just want to say this. It does start with you. And it, and it not only starts with you, but it starts with what's in the you. It that's you, and that's where, and that's where it's got. See, people want to, people want to use to respect our elders, but the elders are forgetting about us because we're setting y'all are still, the older generation are still setting the younger generation up for failure. We, the younger generation coming out of college, that's still out of debt. Awesome. We struggle, we struggle wow. ten times harder. We struggle ten times harder than the older generation. We struggle ten times harder than other 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 generation. Because why? Because the elders want us to to respect them, to remember them, but we. We are not remembered. We are not thought about. And that's the problem. If you get something, if you get the youth to start thinking something cool, and you bring the credit to some other youth, then that's when you start a long time trend. You, see what you I'm said it starts with me. You said it starts with me, and I'm about to tell you something. That is exactly why I teach. Because when I have my students and I have intimate times with them, when I have time to tell them the way life really is, because it's not just my, to- my job to keep- teach them academics. It's my job to prepare them for life, to make them responsible citizens, to make them people who will advocate, who will go out and be activists. That is my job. That's why I do what I do, because I do want to start a trend. But I also know that they, they look at the society. They are socialized. They are socialized, and a lot of that they get from the media. So in order for this, I need somebody who, I mean, I feel like what's going to set this off, because like you said, we're in a place where we've been before. But something has to happen this time to make it greater. We have to take advantage of this opportunity. And that's what I was saying was it was a perfect time within the space that we're at, because let me tell you something. I like to call this the great awakening, and I want to believe in my heart of hearts, and I'm going to be let down, and maybe I am young, naive, and optimistic, overly optimistic, but I want to believe that all all these killings, everything that's going on right now with the young intellectuals in the hub that you have with people talking, just like you do with Diami, uh, 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 with the tribal and all the things that you're doing when you're reaching out and that other people are doing with making the way if enough of us did get angry, if enough of us did get fed up, if somebody who is in the limelight as far as media, if they took advantage of this time and did something like that, that's all kids do these days. That's all the young people do these days is listen to music. And we got a, a rash of music and made it cool now to have co- conscious rap again, and it was on our radios. Could you imagine what might happen? Our youth listen would be in power. Our youth would out, be in power. We hold have on, to make it cool. Hold on. What I'm would out, be I'm the out. chances of a song like that getting on the radio? Because that will be against everything that has been sent up to hold you, hold us who we are. If Nas did it, like I said, distraction. I understand. Music, music, music is not the purpose to, to you, you. Music is not for, music does not serve that purpose. Music is a distraction yeah, from the reality. Now, hold on, 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 Jenna, Jonathan, what she's saying, what she's saying is she wants to set up, she wants to use music in a way that it was supposed to be used for. But now we know, we know what it's being used for as a distraction. But music, music is something that can get people focused. And what she's saying is she would like Every somebody time. possibly to do some songs like that. But hold on, now this, no, this not is the piece. This is popular, let, let but finish. I want to make, me, I want somebody to make me, it popular. I want someone to make it popular. So let, that let it, me finish. Let me finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. I done lost my thoughts. I was going to say, um, Tim, I just wanted to add 
that though I'm saying it will also make it popular, but also right now we are at a point where you don't have to you you can buy music and download it just on the on, on um you know like on the computer on the internet. So but, but, it, but that goes back like, to my point too. Why don't why don't you produce something? And, I do. and maybe that's why they, I hold, have to oh, hold on hold on hold on. And maybe somebody that's popular, as you say, can endorse it. Now, this is the point I'm saying. See, because it's like a lot, of, like like a lot of a lot, a lot of a lot of stuff. Wait, let me. I, I'm 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 going. I'm on now. A lot of the stuff that we talk about, as far as freedom, depends on other people's actions. We need to stop that. We need to work with who we are. And work with and those my, that surround us. That, hold on. My, that's why I talk show. about. That's why I talk about. That's why I talk about Javi Tribe because the very person that you might need to do that may be within the young people that you work with. Okay, so what, what, I'm say, what I'm about to say is, on my show, I have a segment and I call it Music with a Message. And I reach out on Instagram. I get tons of hits and people send me music and links. Because I play the music there. It's music with a message, and I reach out. And when people reach out to me to sponsor me on the show, I ask them, do you make music with a message? Because when people tune into my show, that's the music I want them listening to. I don't want to play the other music that they have in the studio for Ear Candy Radio. Those are not the music that I want to play on my show. I want music with a message. So I put on my Instagram all the time, if you make music with a message, hit me up. So, you know, I, I want to have you on the show. I'll enter interview you. All of these things. I wanna uh, I wanna put this out here. I wanna share it. Yes, indeed. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is Jeremy Journey Radio. Um um right now we on Freestyle Friday. You can reach us at six one four five five six four five three five. Remember to call the line those that may have something on your chest that you want to get off, um, you got an opinion about this show, call the line. It's open 24 hours a day. If I'm available, I pick it up, and you can go on and rant as long as you want, and I will publicize this on the show. This is Brother Hot Tim. I've been joined by Ms. Dark and So Lovely, as well as Brother brother Jonathan, um, the, the creator of the show called Society's Truth. All right, go ahead. That's I, I just said what what I had to say. I re, I put it on my Instagram, so it's not like it's a secret. How many people you got on your Instagram? My my Instagram many, is Miss Dark underscore So Lovely. I said how many how many people you got how many people you got following you on your Instagram? Mm, like a little over two thousand. That's fine. Right. Right, you got two How many? How many, of, how many of them would you say respond to a post that you ain't put up? Mm, it depends on on what the post is. It can get 100. It can get something like that. But it's it's about how many people I know see it. That's what my and thing that's, is. That's another, I know. Hold on. You only have 25% of people liking your post. You only got that's, 25%. You know, yeah, but that's fine. 25%. That guess guess what? I don't know how many people see it, but every post that I see, I don't like it. I don't have to agree with. I might not like it, but I seen it. I'm not concerned with how many people like my post. I'm concerned with getting people to see it. I have a a, a, a two hour two hour power of Facebook. I put things on my Facebook page. You know, it's not. You know, I, I, my job is just to put it out there because when people share it, when people like it, they share it. You feel what I'm saying? Especially on Facebook, that's the way they have that set up. So if you're posting positive posts, if you're posting lightning posts, you know what I'm saying, and you have some type, whatever type of following, every time they like it, it shows up in someone else's. Other people are seeing it. Even if, even if they don't like it, you never know who's seeing your post. It has, that's what they call viral, right? So somebody it might it might get out there, but it's not for me about who likes my post. It's about who sees it. I see things all the time that I might not like, I might not comment on, but I seen it. The more people to see it, the way you get a, a message and propaganda to 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 to, to work. You got to put it out there. Who can, is if enough people are putting it out there? especially the same message, if enough people are putting the same message out there, that's why I say it's so important that you have people all over. 
Somebody's yeah. going to see it. You can get away. Make away. Can I say something? Can I say something? Can I say something? I want to say, can I want to say this? I, 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 I just, I, I just want to say this. Look. I, I talk about I talk about social media is like my biggest topic on my show. It's like it, it's because that is what you know. That's what it what today is like. That's what today is all about. But to me, I, I, I'm it, to me it is about who likes. It's not about it's not about who likes my stuff. It's more about who shares it. Because it's one thing to see it, but it's also one thing to share. It. Because if you're able to share it, that means you feel the magic. I don't want you to just see the message. I want you to feel the message. I want you to have, I want my message to have an impact. That's the difference. And the reason That's why I say, I, 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 I want to finish, I want to finish, I want to finish. I, 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 I want to let you talk. I want to let, I want to talk. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to but I just want to say this. It, 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 it's more about empowering and, and leaving an impact. It's not, it's not about who sees it. It's, it's about how, how, how well enough you can get somebody to feel what you're saying. And, and that's of one reason, it's, 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 it's the reason why, it's the reason why Nelson Mandela was installed in Martin Luther King. People don't know that Nelson Mandela was Martin Luther King's mentor, Stanley Garvey. See, that's why you have, it's, it's about the power of installing okay. something significant. Impact it. Impact it. Impact somebody. I said Nelson Mandela was a, a mentor for Martin Luther King Jr. Wow. So was Gandhi. Yeah. They was a men- they was mentors, and that's why he was able to install the message. Right. 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 Wait, it's hold on, hold on. When you say mentor, stop. When you say mentor, do you mean like they was communicating, or do no. you mean that Martin Luther King looked up to these individuals? He looked up to him. He idol. He, it was like he really. People don't know he really idolized Nelson Mandela, but he had to become a Gandhi because racial war was already happening in uh, in, 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 in South Africa. Why but, are you saying people don't know this? Why would you think that people don't know this? That only makes because sense. Because they knew, because if they knew, they would act more instead of talking more. That's why I say people don't know. If they if they do know, they don't understand. It's about having the power of understanding and having an even an impact. It's, it's, we can talk and talk, we can trick for attack, but it's. Hello? Hello? Jonathan? Do you hear me? Hello? Dark, Miss Dark Soul Love, you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes. Uh, Hello? I think I think his line might have dropped. Yeah, I don't know why he would think that people don't know that. That's that just that's I mean, just but, I mean, but then but then hold on, hold on. You can't because people may not know that. And the I, piece I, that, I, I mean, because you know why example, I feel that way? I feel that way because I feel that way because the thing, I, uh, history keeps repeating itself. I feel this way. The re- I feel the reason, this is the reason why I feel the way I feel. I feel the reason why I feel is because the next generation, the, gener- the next, the supposedly next generation got to suffer, right? So because this whole thing about somebody that's already done something, I feel like we forget our youth. We're so worried about our youth to listen. But I don't even an impact on us. That's the whole thing. What what are you installing in us? There, there's more. What what what's been installing in you? And, why, and the reason why my generation is so confused is because we've been taught to go to school. We've been taught to do this. We've been taught to do that. <laughs> That's why the, my, the females in my generation act a fool and dress a certain type of way because. And guess what? And and and, and, and because well. Well, because well, my father did this. I'm gonna do this. I might as well. And they don't. And, and they don't. They don't understand what a really what a trend is. They don't actually understand what social media is for. They don't understand how to understand it of what actual social media is. I mean, the power of impact. That's the way I mean. The way I feel because if we, if you, if if, if people understood the power of impacting, then why is my generation so confused? Because we are doing something we are taught. So because that's the reason why I feel something was left out of each generation. Something was left out, and it continues to be left out. So that's you the reason why I'm telling my people, if you know, then you would understand it and you would stop it. You would never do it. That's why it's called waking up, and that's why they talk about enlightenment. 
Because in order for you to get people to wake up and be activists, you have to awaken them. We have been socialized. When we watch TV and we listen to that garbage on the radio, it just it just calcifies our, uh, our pineal gland. And so now we can't even, we're so impressionable that we are easily to be socialized. They're socializing us. And so unless, in, in order for us to wake up, and do something and be active, the first thing we have to do is turn off their television and their radio. That's the first thing we have to do. Because the more and more we let our kids get on social media and allow the media to, 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 to socialize them, as long as we allow the media and society to raise our kids, they're going to be screwed up. They are being socialized to act this way, socialized to be deviant, socialized. They have to turn off the TV, the radio, and then we have to make our own music. We have, the, we have this radio show right now that we're on. We can have a way for our people to tune. We can have underground radios now where we only play conscious music, and people can listen and get those waves and frequencies throughout their home in their kids' ears. Come on now. We, have to, we, we do have power to control it. There are things that we can do, and I am trying. I can't do everything. You know what I'm saying? I understand, it, and, and, and I only do what I can do. And it maybe it's too little to some. You feel what I'm saying? But in my heart, this is how I feel that I, this is going to be my contribution. You right? And then I want to reach out and know and network and, and, and work with people who have other gifts. And they're doing the same path that I'm on. They're doing the same thing. So we can network and work together to get to that destination. But we're all doing different things. But all for one cause. All for one cause. And I'm here and they're there and they're, and we all got different talents. But we, all, and we also all have a, a, a place in mind that we want to be. We have a vision. And so we work doing our own thing to get there. I can only do so much. What I'm doing, like I said, I, I hate that in the conscious community it's like, you have to be doing this, this. I hate all them bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate it. Just like that's why I took a leave from um from my show is because I hated some of the things, the, the predisposition, I mean, the, their uh, preconceived, how they preconceived me. I felt like I'm letting the people down. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they keep thinking that I'm, I look this way and I must be this and I must be thin and I must not eat meat, right? You must be a vegan. Come on, why do I have to be all that to 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 to, to be you working don't. with That's the same oh, you, you, the same you, God. you don't. Well hold on. Hold on. You don't, right? But but see, how can I put it? That's why I ask you, do you feel comfortable with the with the message that you're delivering? You see what I'm saying? And then on top of that, oh. do you even really know hold on, do you even really know the people that you're networking with? Because see, because it's the piece. Networking requires, you know, in some cases a lot of distance, but one of the things I like doing is being able to do some hands-on stuff. That's where the work really gets done because that's when you really change somebody's life. Now, you might influence them over the Internet. And then this is the bottom line fact. If you got, if you got 2,000 friends on, on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on, on Twitter, there's a good chance that you may only get between 1% and 10% of them to respond to anything that you post anyway. Which goes back well, to your to your original. Hold on, go back to your original point about the talented tenth is not necessarily talented tenth; it's the active tenth. And this is why when me and you have had our discussion about when I was talking about my uh, the the Jami complex about me being picky, I'm gonna be picky because I know it's only gonna be a few people that's really gonna do the work anyway, and those are the people we need to really be focusing on. You know what I'm saying? Period. Mm-hmm. All everybody don't need to be reached. Just like you was like when you was in the conscious community because you didn't fit in because you ain't you, you didn't wear the hair wrap. You know what I am. Well, what I did know, what I did was I took my message off Instagram, dealing with all these people that didn't know me, and I continued to deal with the people on Facebook who do know me because people on Facebook, all of my friends know me. You know what I'm saying? And I get a substantial uh, uh, comments. I get likes depending. And I go do a lot of commentators on other people's pages and forums and things like that. So I just took my message to Facebook where more people knew me and where I didn't feel, you know, all that all, all that stuff from the people, the 2,000 people here on Instagram that I instantly linked with. But at the end of the day, I am very confident. 
I, and, and what I'm saying, and the message yeah. that I am the No, I actually, okay, I, I actually ask you, ask you, ask you, ask you. I ask you, do I'm, you believe it? Are you comfortable with it? You, I mean, I mean. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, I, I do. Know, I mean, yeah. Uh, 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 okay, I can I can I ask can I ask I, I, I want to ask the question and I want I want you I want I want you to I want uh hot chip to answer it and I want uh, what's your name again It's kind of uh what's your name again Miss Bark so lovely Bark so lovely I want y'all to both I want y'all to both ask me I want y'all to both answer the question because the topic that we've been talking about is social media. Um, how, Chandler, yeah, how much of your, I mean, well, I mean, no, 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 but, you know, what we've been talking about. We've just been all over the place, but go ahead, because y'all start off with something to, I don't even know what we have. But what I want to say is, but my question is, but I'm, what I want to question is, is that we all, we all want, we all believe in something. But how much of your time do you spend on social media, but how much of your time do you spend in the community as well? Because it's one thing to be trying to get the message out on the on, on the media, but how 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 much of a, how much work are you going out to the community and just really speaking and setting up places where people can come and hear what you're trying to trying to do and trying to say? How much of that is being put out to the community as opposed to social media? Okay, you want hot chum to answer first? Hot chum. Right. So now, uh, part of part of my outreach piece is the radio show. So I am doing, I am reaching out Tuesdays and Wednesdays, some Thursdays, freestyle Fridays, some pissed off Saturdays, and he Sundays said other. About on social no, this media. Ain't, this is, he said, other than social media, this is not social media. Now, I share what I do on this show through the social media. This is part of yeah, what I'm doing because I, I wait. So, I, you can't, I, you can't, so what are you yeah, doing in your community where you live? Right there around in your in your community, right there in them apartments where you live at, right? Right where you be posting the jogging videos. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? That's what he's asking you. No, that's not what he asked me. He is that's not what he asked me. No, that's not what he asked me. Here's what I'm asking. Here's what I'm asking. No, hold on. That's not, that's not my community. That's the place where I live. There is no black community here, but I can tell you what I'm oh, doing. I'm getting off the line. Me. I'm getting off the line. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's not what I asked him. 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 I asked him. My specific question, my specific question was, outside of social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, outside of social media, um, Gmail, emails, that's what I'm I'm asking. Outside of that, what are you doing to reach out in the community? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be like in the community where you live in. What are you doing? That's what I'm asking. Yes. Okay. Now, I was answering it. All right. Um, See, this is, this, this, all right. Now, first off, my radio show, my radio show or my podcast is part of that. So I'm on the podcast on a regular basis. I also write, right? So, you know, like I said, I'm putting books together. Now, I'm also working in an educational environment where I'm able to put information together for the youth so that I could kind of help change their mind state. Then on every other Saturday, I have my meetings, my the Giami Tribe meetings, and then on Sundays, I'm supposed to have, every other Sunday, I'm supposed to have a meeting with the adults. Now, that's kind of fell off since I've been back in December. But, you know, we'll get back up in tune soon. And then every now and then when people ask me for help, you know what I'm saying, I'm on the phone talking with them too. Because I give a lot of advice. So, um, so that's it for me. You know what I'm saying? That's it for me. And then the time I donate to Simba, so. Okay. Um, that's the question I asked. Okay, so let me say this. That's what I asked. You basically gave me everything that I was at, that basically I was looking for. Okay, so let me say that the better question was what I, I thought he was asking was what are you doing within your, when he said what are you doing in your community outside of 
you know, um, like social media, I was thinking he was meaning within, like I said, within where you live that. I was thinking he was talking about that with around you where you live, the school, the rec center, the, the, the places like cleaning up and things like that. Like what were you doing within your community to reach when out with your... When you're explaining something that he just said, you were incorrect. So you was incorrect. You going to ask this question or not? <laughs> no, he wasn't talking about that. But I do want to say that I'm looking, I'm looking on the internet and I see that podcast is a type of social media. So you cannot include that. I was hoping you would include Clue what you do at at your job, because that is where I see you when it comes to the young people. We just said that getting to the young people was a job. That's where that's where we're going to make our, our, our mark, right? So then I, I I hear everything else that you're talk, that you're saying, and I'm going to say for myself personally, I stretch myself thin. I do a lot of volunteering. I do a lot of spending time with the, even the kids in my neighborhood, double dutch, curveball, things like that. I do that. I wanted to start something where I can maybe lend them some books to read and things like that, but I haven't figured out a way. And that's just in the apartment complex where I. I live. I live in a place with tons of kids, and I do want to reach out to them with with something. Or and like I said, I told that I'm working with a um, a lady came to my daughter trying to clean up my neighborhood. It's like going through some litigation or something. But I'm I, I suggest that we do like a, a community something, and I'm going to be on the the board with that. I do things at my school. I volunteer my time. I spread myself thin, and then on top of that. I try and share conscious posts. I try and make positive statements. I try to yeah, put media. positive media. I, I try to put, yes, positive energy, not only social out through media. social media, not only through social media, but period, when I'm talking and networking with people. I had the, the other day, like, I catch the best to work every day. And, 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 and sometimes just through talking with people on the bus, just with talking people at the bus stop, I'm learning things. I'm, I mean, and, and talking with them, like I said, I can help construct knowledge. I can tell them a little bit about, like I said, I have talked with about Simba and Simsa with people, right? Telling them what I encountered there. I just was, you know, and, and, and what what I learned there, right? And that whole, me and my kids did our prayer the other day, and that's what we did. I can't wait to get kids over here and we and we do that for them, just, just to show them and make it, let them see that it's cool. Because, I mean, we had it going on right in my kitchen, me and my kids, right? Because we, we too black, we too strong, right? I want that message out there, right? And, 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 and do, it, it's the through social. It's through social. Okay. Through social. okay. okay. And I want I want to say something, and I believe I believe I believe uh, how Tim knows this is this has been my dream, not only my goal, but this is what I believe I'm destined to do. I believe that I was destined to be mayor of Chicago. I believe that I was destined to be the governor and win five elections. But here's 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 what I here's what here's what I here's what I want to say. I want to help. I want I believe that I believe this. This is what I believe. I believe that if you can find. Somebody that's 18, 19, that 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 has the knowledge, like not even me, but has has the basic understanding of what you're saying, and, and, mm. and coach them in a way, and coach them, coach them in a way, and send them out to the youth. I believe that that's going to change your life. Yes, you guys, you guys, because I believe I believe now it's time. It's more. See, people make this more about. In order, everybody's gonna you're gonna automatically be the leader, but we gotta start promoting you for leader because the youth are falling out of the church. We know that they're more in the streets than they're in the church, so we gotta start promoting youth to where they that where you can say, you know what, you're ready. I want you to go out there in the community, and I want to show you, I want you to show the younger generation what you know. So I believe, what, I believe we, I believe we should start doing that, but we need to find that one, and then when we find one. We can move to the next. Then they, they can find one Why? more. So we he, find one, then take it to the next one, then take it to the next one, and that's how you change. That's how you change. It's not about he, giving a message out to music. I think the, the best way to get the message out is setting up seminars. I believe that setting up, going network. out, talking to people, and 
And not just networking, but I believe in just, you know, just 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 not just networking. Because networking is just there. Networking is there too. But we also just gotta start getting the youth more involved with everything that we how have are discussed you, here today. You, how are you gonna get the youth involved if you don't network? How if you're not talking with people and in, in, in forming you gotta, connect- you gotta you gotta but you gotta sometimes sometimes you can network, but sometimes you gotta take a youth under your wing. And then when you say you, it's like it, it's like this, and this is why I believe that I've talked. I've talked to so many you. I've talked to, uh, and one of the things that we have, uh, our Tim knows about Simba. We had a uh, discussion with uh, the Junior Nation builders, and we were talking with them, the Junior Nation builders. Simba, the Junior, Junior, I was the Junior Nation builder this year, but the Junior Nation builders made history at Simba because Simba has never promoted five Junior Nation builders in one camp, never. And we got to start promoting youth so they can go out there, so they can start showing the audience. Right. Right. We got to start, we gotta start mm-hmm. taking starting youth under our wing. It's not about music anymore because music is, music, music is, a, music is not a, a way of message anymore, even though it's supposed to be, it's way, but, it's, but, but it's a distraction. So Let the best way to do it, the best way to do it is start with somebody that you know can understand, that has some of the same mm-hmm. assets of you, and go from there. Mm-hmm. I tell, Let me, tell me what you think. I mean, I mean, I, you can I, tell I, what you think. I gotta, well. I gotta, I gotta say this real quick. On the ride home, I wrote um, when I came to get the boys. I had a chance to talk with Deshaun and um, I can't think of his name. What's um, I kept calling him the wrong name the whole time. Um, but, uh, what's his name, um, Brown? The guy, the, the, the one with the brother, their brother, um, Sha- Shaheen. Oh. Who? You was riding home. They get you right home? It doesn't matter. When we roll home from sh- from camp. Now, he was saying, he said how much he enjoyed um um, you know, he enjoys Simba, and I believe Simba is. Uh, I I love it. I love Simba. Uh, I want to see it. I want to see. See, I told you Simba. Uh, uh, the organization with his own campground. Now, one thing he was saying was he wished it uh, a way to put things together, like on social media, to get people interested to get people to camp, right? It w- it would be nice if we could bring as many kids uh, as many kids as we wanted, right? But what if these kids did come from all over, right? But somebody has to go there and talk about and take this program there in the curriculum there and get it started, right? Somebody has to do that. So that's one thing we should be training our, our, our nation builders because that's what they should be doing, building a nation, right? So they're going to have to go out at some point and sell Simba to a whole nother group of people somewhere so that they can start their own Simba and bring their kids to camp and, and, and follow the curriculum in order to, again, build this empowerment. That's all. That's where I left. I left Simpson land empowered. That was right. empowerment. That fed my soul. You see what I'm saying? That that fed my soul. So I'm I'm like, could I imagine if if, if if more people, more women, more men, more young men could go down there and experience that and then go out and nation build, go out and tell other people, go out and help people get these programs started and their communities uh-huh. all over. But in order to do that, you've got to go have them go somewhere and meet somebody and train somebody. You have to have them go to there and link up with somebody somewhere else. Can I say this? Can I say this? We already got that in place already. We talked about that. We talked about that. That was yeah. a discussion yeah. that you yeah. talked about before we had We already got that in place Kinda. already. Kind of. I mean, we still we, we it still need a little bit more work. She's right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it is happening. And, I mean, that's how we ended up bringing all those kids up there because we've been, in a sense, we've been representing. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's our work. You know, so we represent our, through our work, and we're able to to set up a chapter here and and actually um, um, recruit for the chapter and, and actually actually uh, uh, for us the the meetings that we are doing were not uh, initiated by uh, Simba or Simsa. It was initiated by two sisters that just had kids that they wanted to get involved in. So. I mean, that's where the adult study group came from, too. So, um, 
and I was just able to bring what I'm bringing right now to the group, and and it's working out. But the PC is uh, some of the stuff I'm not I'm not I I want to I want to do and I want to get it right. I'm not in a rush, and I'm not I'm not one to try to get too many people too fast. You know what I'm saying? Because that's uh, that's how you can definitely tear it up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm definitely not with I'm definitely not with letting letting fuckery into this thing that I love. I'm just being honest. That's exactly. that's fine. We're talking about kids. We're talking about kids. We're talking about going out to different cities and having people who will go all kids, out. All kids, and not, all kids are not built for or so, so. I'm just letting you oh know. My, all kids are not. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Come on, Brown. Come on, I and I get this, that. But and this is, wait, time out, time out. this is why I keep on asking you, how long have you been involved in this? But, let me, me say this. Let me say this. Trust me. No, 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 no. Let me say this. Trust me. All youth are not ready for Simba and Simpson Cap. Some people and I agree. Got exactly. got okay, cool. Then what's the issue? What's the issue with what I, I agree. Why you got to I also to? feel like I also feel like even even um even the kids who we do take, I feel like some of the like even my own son. I'm just gonna speak for my son. Like he when when we when I told him he was going to camp and you know he comes to group we don't you know we miss we miss groups but we come and he understands some things and he really enjoys it. He really it, it, it lights a fire in him. But at the same time, being his first experience, he didn't know what to expect, right? And what's your son's name? What's your son's name? What's your son's name? My son's name is Melvin. You know he was in my tribe, man. That was he was one of my favorite. That was my favorite guy. That was my favorite. Melvin was one of my favorite guys. Are cool you the one? Who, I was in are you the one? Builder. I was the one. Are you that, the one? That, huh? Not, you are Jonathan. So my <laughs> son comes home, and now my son thinks he can crunk. He thinks he's King Crunk, so he just breaks out in the middle of a conversation, and he just starts crunking. Yes, I've heard about you, John. I've heard about you. He he imitates you a lot. He imitates John a lot. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I said this. This is this is something. Even though he didn't know what to expect, it was such a rewarding. He wasn't supposed to know what to expect. He wasn't. He wasn't um, the first time. You're not supposed to know what to expect. That wasn't okay. what he was. He didn't close the door. He was just supposed to find out. That's why it's called right to pass. You know what I'm saying? You don't give nobody no no, no, business for right to pass. You you know I mean that's some that's some that that's some that's some fuckery. Once again, that's fuckery. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If that were true. I mean, if if that's how it goes, it's right to passage, right? So we Uh get down there. We get we get there. Don't know what to expect, right? And we put mm-hmm. them through, we put them through these various, um, we put these them through these various things, right? The the, the Passover, mm-hmm. but then we pass people who fail to exhibit that. That's a problem if this is right to pass. So what I believe is that there should Come have on. been some more, some more information explained. I mean, via however, go ahead. Come on, that's what. That's what the, the that's what the home chapters are for. Now everybody now everybody at Simpson pass, you know, that's that's a Simpson issue then, right? Because everybody at Simba does not cross. So Oh um, but so let me ask you something. You know the kid the kid that stole the belt, did he cross over? I crossed oh, him over, of course he crossed over. Who you know, he, oh, crossed. Okay. he crossed? He was he was a Simba. And 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 this is the thing. Jonathan, 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 uh, explain to her, explain to her how the person that stole. What I'm saying is, how did those two young men get across the line? You remember? Oh uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. They got across because they had explained. They 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 had to tell. They had a scripture. And they had to tell what it meant. They wanted because because sometimes when they when kids come into Simba, they mess around in Simba and 
they don't realize what silver actually does. And these two cats, they didn't realize it until it was time to cross, and they were just like, you know what, oh man, um, you know, and I, you know, and they really wanted to cross over. They, when you go, yeah, cross, but they don't want to kill. Right, right. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna finish it up. When, when kids don't cross them, but them believe so much of an impact. If kids don't cross, it rips their hearts out. It rips their chest out. And these kids, they talk to everybody. Jonathan, we don't cross everybody. The only, the only reason, the only reason that they crossed was because it was an OG call made, and I was against the OG call, but I kept my mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> If it was, or am I am I lying? It was an OG call. Me. And I don't care what I don't care what scripture they did, and and both of them was my boys. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't think that they deserved the cross, and I let them know that. As a matter of fact, the even the nation builders refused to pull them across the line. They got across the line because it was an OG call. Period. Oh yeah, period. that's why they called they the OG the call. Them. It was OG. I forgot. You know I, forgot what I, tell I forgot it was the OG call. I didn't. Yeah. Right, right. You talking about? Oh, you know, okay, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I remember. I remember. Else oh. Somebody else. It was a few other people. Uh, I know. I know for a fact when the older boys didn't cross, and this was his third year there. And oh, yeah, the one that was involved with it shouldn't have crossed either. But the point that I'm trying to make is everybody's not supposed to cross. That's where. The um, home chapters come in. You see what I'm saying? This is why when people are like, well, you know, um, you know, this is why I do Giami the way I do Giami. You know what I'm saying? And, but, you know, we recruit other people. You know what I'm saying? But I want to make sure those that's coming to our meetings get to go because they're going to represent. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, on a consistent basis, I don't mean to brag, but when it comes to nation builders, you know, we've been kind of holding it down in Columbus for the last couple of years now. You know, with those nation builder of the years. Now, and, and on top of that, we're doing the other work here as well. See, as far as that chapter piece, because cause in a sense, a lot of these kids need to go through some process before they even come up there. Now, those two that, that shouldn't have crossed, they ain't part of, I don't think they're part of any process at home. I know one for a fact is not. You know? It's not what? So, it's not they're part, not it's not part of the. They're not. They're not a part of a chapter. You know what I'm saying? Neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? Now the invitation is out for one to be part of the chapter, and he's more than well welcome to come in. But you know, like I said, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm let my chapter leaders handle that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all y'all got a certain way y'all want to do it. Y'all go on and do it. But you know, my and I know is, Chicago. I know Chicago. Everybody's got to get back on point. Everybody, I know Chicago Everybody's got to get back on board. Everybody's not I supposed to cross. Well, I just, well, what I was saying is, I'm excited. I, like I said, my son enjoyed Simba, even though I wish that I would have explained what, you know, like I said, I think that he could have used some more education, not about Ooh. what was going on. Huh? Ooh. Who could have used more education? <laughs> Melvin, my, I, I can only speak for my son. I'm not going to speak for any, and my, anybody else's, but I just I found that my son had a great time, right? He really enjoyed it, but what I understood when he came home was that he thought it was going to be something that it was not. And in that sense, he kind of felt, you know what I'm saying, like he felt some type of way. But that's not to say that he didn't have a great... I I, I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. I, 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 I want to say this. My first time, my first time, every, every, every Melvin, Melvin, I want to say this. I want to say this. Uh, uh, I want to say this. Melvin should have felt some type of way. I'm going to tell you why. Because my first, I, I wasn't, see, I wasn't always, I just got promoted as a nation builder. So I wasn't always a junior nation builder, nor a nation builder. I was a Simba. My first year as Simba, I felt some type of way. But I always wanted to go. Because the, 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 what I what Simba does, it leaves an impact. Because it, when, we, I, uh, when Melvin first came, when Melvin first came in, Melvin was just, you know he was you know he was to himself. 
But then through Kim, Melvin began to talk to me. He began to he wants to know a little bit about me. He liked that I was cramping and everything. So I, it was when he first came in, he was he was like he was still some type of way. But he had right. the nation builders there. He, he he had the nation builders there to help him and to guide him, and we left a much of an impact. And, and, and I and get the part about the the rites of passage and not knowing the sacred, you know, the sacred things that go on at camp. I like the idea of that, but like I said, just I felt like the word camp. If I would explain to him what rites of passage meant, he he would have had a better understanding going into it. But for me, just to say you're going to camp, I think he associated it with something else and didn't have a full understanding. He but that's not. Well, hold on, he got to go to Norway. He, 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 that's to say, that's he not to, to say, that's, that's not to, but, okay, that's not to say that he can't wait to go back. They, Melvin had never been, I've been camping one time, but Melvin's never been camping before. But I think when people go to, you know, oh, yeah, people like to, yeah, like the day camps, they do fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you, and just like the kids that came to our camp. Just like the kids, you know how long, many times I had to have conversations to, with them about why we do academics at our camp. Like, camp's supposed to be fun. Why are we doing this? Why? So it seems boring to them. It seems boring to them because they think camp and they think they're supposed to be up, kicking the ball, doing this, doing that, doing that. They don't understand that they're going to be studying. You know what right. I'm saying? That they got to do stuff like he didn't I get that part. You know what I did, right? No, 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 no. You know, you know, you know why? You know why? You know why people are not supposed to know? Because then he never would have felt like he was forced to go to camp. He felt like he was going to school instead of going to have fun. See, that's the whole ideology of why we set up Simba. You're not supposed to know what the right passage is. You're just supposed to come in and everything no. else. You see how that? You see? You see? Look. Not only, no, Simba is set up the way, Simba and Simpson set up the way the reason that it's set up because it leaves so much of an impact. See, the understanding, if you've been to Simba, like you've been to Simba, it's the same thing. Simba, Simpson was built through Simba. So that's how everything started. So the right for him, he would have felt like he would have been forced. We don't want kids to, we want kids to have the ideology when they come, they're going to have fun. But at the same time, we, everything else, is there because we have nation builders and leaders that leave so much of an impact, and for them, they they understand it more because it's, it's, it's better. It's better. It's better us. It's better for us to explain the rights of passage and let them know and tell us our experiences than for you to try to explain it to them. And that's just no, like anything with a job. I, I didn't feel like, and and you know what? Every time I had questions about what I was I was going to experience coming in, right? And and, right. and and the and and my nation builder would tell me, trust the process, trust the process. She uh, hello. She got disconnected. Yeah. She got disconnected. Yeah, she she's supposed to. She's understanding the, the thing over there. Is, is I was hoping Hold on, on. Get back on the call. Her line got disconnected. But Jonathan, check this out. It's it's one thirty four here, man. I'm about to. But I'm, I I'm was listening. Gonna... Finish your statement. Your, your nation builder would tell you trust the process, trust the process. The don't process. finish it. We don't, we about to close okay, it out. So, but, okay, so he would tell me trust the process. And what I'm, I knew what rites of passage was. I knew what the term rites of passage meant. So I knew I was to expect what some things. You feel what Break I'm saying? What I didn't know what, but I didn't know what, what to expect. It, it it is it is a, a a set of rituals that will help you go from one transition from one part of life to another. So it's going to put you through some tests. But I just never explained that to Melvin that he would encounter some type of uh, of of activities and incidents that will help him transition from one part from one part of his life to the next that would grow him. I didn't tell him that. I didn't explain that well, part, and that's. That was, I don't think that was important for him to know. I don't think he needed to know that because Melvin enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. So it's not an issue. He should know it what right to passage. He Melvin should is. know what right to passage means because our ancestors well, had the need to know. See, that's the problem. We want to define everything, but everything don't need to be defined. I mean, he got yeah. experience. He knows oh, better I'm, than he knows better than definition because he lives. That's something we I know. Why did he we didn't know before he went. <laughs> 
Do we teach rites of passage in warrior training? Do you teach that in warrior training? Is there a part in your warrior training where you teach them what rites of passage is? Yes, there is. And I think my son may have missed that class. And that is the point that I'm making. No, my my, 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 right, my, my warrior, warrior training is a rites of passage. So the and whole you explain process, what so rites of passage is. And you explain what rites of passage is. But I'm saying I never broke that down for my son. But we can end the show there. It. We we yeah it is like two o'clock almost two o'clock in the morning and I gotta be at cheer camp in the morning. Yeah. That's the process. That's trust amazing. the process. Trust the process. The process. They gotta experience it. They trust gotta the process. Yeah. Hold on. This is Brother Hot Tim. I like to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, Brother Jonathan from Society's Truth. You can find him at um. Um, on Spreaker, Society's Truth. He has a station on, he has his own station and also a station on on um, on Jeremy Journey. Both of them are named Society's Truth. So you can find his shows there, here. I'm a little bit behind in uploading his shows. But we're going to work on that. I'm working on that. I want to thank Ms. Dark, and, oh, Ms. Dark and Lovely, Ms. Dark and So Lovely uh, for joining us. Um, this has been Freestyle Friday, so if you got lost, so did I. But that's the whole piece about the freestyle. You know what I'm saying? We got the conversation going, and we got a conversation that kept us going and kept us on fire for two hours and 23 minutes after all of us had a very busy Friday. Um, I want to say uh, happy, blue, happy Blue Moon Day for um, everybody that just happened that might have missed it today, but this was the... This is the last blue moon we're going to have until 2018. And my kids was out enjoying it. Um, and with that, I'm going to say peace. Jonathan, if you want to say a closing word, then I'll let Ms. Darkness so lovely say it, find a word, and then we out. Hey, this is Society Truth. Uh, come on and check me out. Um, it's basically check, it, check me out, check Society Truth out. Um, I, I, like I always say, Society Truth wouldn't be the truth. Because y'all are the truth. And that's society truth, y'all. Ms. Dark is so lovely. Go ahead. You want to say goodbye okay. or you done? Uh, okay. I just want to say it's time to put the unity back in the community. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, that's all I want to say. It's time to put the unity back in the community. Uh, <laughs> do something every day. That that um that contributes to the progression, well, that 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 contributes to the progression of the people. Go out and volunteer. Be a, 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 a do some community service, you guys. Uh, re repost like the um like Jonathan said. Go ahead and share a conscious post or a post that is enlightening. That that is uh something that is positive. That that would be something that will contribute to the betterment of your race. Um, stop doing things that are kind of productive to our progression. Um, like I said, put the unity back in the community. Look out for your na- your, your, your neighbor. Oh my God. All right, man. I want to thank everybody for joining us, those that uh, uh, joined us live. and I want to thank those that are going to join us in the future. Always remember that um, the work we do, uh, the work that we're recording, uh, we're doing it for the future generation because somebody right now may be listening to this 10 years from now. You know what I'm saying? And, they, they, and the words that we have is going to impact them. We never know whose life we've made change. So, you might not think that you talk to anybody now, but believe me, you're talking to somebody. Um, you're reaching everybody. You know? I ain't going to say everybody, but you're reaching somebody. Remember, um, share, like she said. Um, and, you know, like I said, support the journey because, like I said, we're going to buy civil land eventually, but also I want to get this apartment complex because I didn't really get a chance to talk about that because they was, try- they, was, they was trying to get me to go off. I think they was both planted today to try to make me go off. But I think I did good. You know what I'm saying? I say, but, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. This is Freestyle Friday. I might do a pissed off Saturday, but I don't know yet. With that, I'm saying good night to my two co-hosts. And I'm saying good night to everybody that's listening now and in the future. With that, I say peace. 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 Thank you.